says we're broadcasting, so I'll go do all that stuff in the back end really quick. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, I can say some. I can say some stuff to get this properly rated. Speaking, talking, conversing, rearranging furniture, Babs's, shopping, <laughs> shopping. <laughs> I let the bird out of the cage. Congratulations. <laughs> Shot test. So does anything from our Modern Warfare 2 account transfer over? I think all of the skins you you bought do pretty yeah, much. I think I saw the skins do do weapons. It Apparently looks so. Like These e are... every, everything you've got in a Modern Warfare Two you can use in three as okay. well. Yeah. And on that note, we are live and here to discuss Modern Warfare 3. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another thought provoking game night. I am Princess 1215, once again joined by Loca Cola. Well, looks like it's uh, another day at the office. Indeed, it is. We're also joined today by Daxter Corp HD. It's the uh, same as last year. And then we are also joined today by Lewis. It's caught in time. <laughs> it's... <laughs> uh, yeah, I so that, as... I love that part where he said it's caught in time and he caught it all and over caught it over. <laughs> Oh, what has Morbius done to, to, to memes? It's, it's had a deleterious effect on memes in the, last, in the last year, in the last calendar year, but... Uh, yeah, so this is the Modern Warfare 3 PlayStation Closed Beta, where you can only play this weekend, it, or I think it opens up for everyone tomorrow, but yesterday and today you can only play if you have pre-ordered the game, which uh, we all did, it, seemed, it looks like. I may or may not have done it just prior to going live. <laughs> Don't worry, I probably did it later than you. <laughs> Yes, I beat you guys by doing it last weekend. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. I, I, I dropped, I dropped lots of cash. Bird. I dropped lots of cash on PlayStation last weekend because I pre-ordered this in Spider-Man 2. So. Oh, nice. So. Good, gonna, hopefully going to be a good, uh, good fall for video games. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this mosh pit here on some very classic maps. Now, myself, Loka, and Daxter, I know we've all played the original Modern Warfare 2 that these games come from, but Lewis, your history with Call of Duty is huh. a little more recent, correct? Oh yeah, I'm like a, a seedling in terms of COD. Right. I'm just, I recently planted into the ground. So so these maps are going to be broke about these because in the COD community, these are these are like some of the most renowned maps out of any Call of Duty game that's ever come out. These are like fan favorites of the fan favorites. Oh. So the fact that they're remastered that they've remastered all 16 of them from the original Modern Warfare 2 and re-released them in, you know, this upcoming Modern Warfare 3, not to be confused with the original Modern Warfare 3 from 2011, not confusing at all. Um it's nope. it's 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 cool, but at the same time it's uh what, why is this game worth seventy dollars? That's so. Um, let's guess. Oh, hey, Lewis. Not to be too rude, but I think there's a bit of reverb coming from your mic. I don't know if there's anything you can. Oh, do is about it like a uh, hummy? Yeah, it's it's, oh, no. it's going. It's everyone. I wonder. I don't know if it's just uh, you have. Uh, the audio running through your TV, and it's also coming, going into your uh, screen. Nah, it's literally just like this headphone mic I have. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I couldn't find the uh, microphone for my other headset, so I panicked, and this is what I found. Uh, oh, yeah, cool. I'll just like talk, uh, or I'll uh, unmute when I talk. 
See, I, I, I heard that, but I wasn't quite sure where. Oh! Ah! I wasn't quite sure where it was coming from, so I wasn't saying any, uh, saying anything because I hadn't pinpointed it yet. So good job, Dexter, f figuring out who that was. But, uh, so yeah, here we are on a state, arguably my favorite COD map of all time, actually. You know, a lot of people are going to choose something like Terminal or, uh, or Favela from, from OG Modern Warfare 2 rather than a state, but, uh, but is I, also how I just how I describe my stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> but I I do quite like a state for for a number of, of reasons. So it's like so since you know Lewis he's he's new to these maps. He's never played these maps before. But uh, from the original launch sixteen, what what did for Loka and Daxter? What what do we think are our favorite maps from the original? Uh, Loka, you want to go first? You got seniority over me. Uh. Oh. I like your state. Um. Not sure if it's one of my favorites, though. Um. I'm trying to think. It's. It was. We have Skid Row, Rust, Terminal. Quarry, yeah, Quarry. I, 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 yeah, Quarry was decent. I, I think Afghan was my, yeah. one of my favorite ones. Mm, Afghan, um, good choice. That's a that's a fun one. So funnily enough, I did not play a whole lot of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. So unlike you guys, I had I had uh, what we call terrible parents who are very strict and care about me. So they didn't let me play any fun games. Disgusting. But whenever I did, <laughs> thank you. But when I did get to play, I uh, it was certainly well after the fact, so I didn't get to play a whole lot. But what I can tell you is I really enjoyed Terminal from what I did play with friends mm -hmm. locally. Yeah. Afghanza is a, an easy, no-brainer, fun map. Uh, Favela is okay. I don't know why. Maps set in Brazil have just never been my thing. Especially Whoa. since they're all, for some reason, named Favela. Like, can we really not pick another choice for a map? Anyway, uh, Terminal obviously is a great one, but I prefer it in three than I do in two. Changing back. And Rust, Rust is fun. Rust is fun for one v one debate ending matches. Intervention only. Yeah. Don't have <laughs> Whoa. So, so if if you've if you watched my channel recently in the last, you know, last couple months, you'll know that I did upload a video where we ran around and killed each other with riot shields and, and knives. And I, I think we I think we all that enjoyed doing that a lot. Mm -hmm. I think oh, we yeah. all enjoyed doing that, that a lot. Fun. So I will I will say, Lewis, just so you know, Rust in which will be in this in this game, it is the best map of all time for that specific yep. running around killing your friends oh, cool. so when so when the full game comes out we will of course have to do that and um, hey, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast just to give you something to look forward to but is it like the uh um the shipping yard from the last game shipment uh, no like it's, it's larger it is it is, it is closer quarters but it's, it's got verticality it's a little it's it's mm, got a tower you okay. can climb but it is yeah it is it is a bit of a uh, larger map, but not by much. Yeah, it's barely bigger, and it has it has some interesting. Yeah, it has the verticality, so there is some aspect of it. Do you want to mm. take it? Do you not want to? This is for all of the skittles in your Halloween basket. Do you really want to risk it for that? <laughs> I get you. It's like, yeah, yeah, the advantageous spot, but also like what everyone's gunning for, mm -hmm. literally kind and of, yeah. metaphorically. Well, less metaphorically and more literally, considering the game, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a fantastic map. Uh, came back in Season 2 of uh, Modern Warfare 19, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm, it did. Yep. Correct. Wow, that's a great memory you got there, Bunny. Of course it is me. Was it I just forgot for who I'm season? playing with. Say that again. Was the map just there for a season? Uh, no, no, it was, was no, it, yeah, it was there oh, for the okay. entire thing. It just, it, 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 that's when it arrived. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a fun map. And I think they did a couple of tweaks and alterations to it 
from its original counterpart. Oh wow, that was terrible. Oh, There's thank you, Luca. You're welcome. Although, uh, let's not go that way because there's a Juggernaut Recon <laughs> over new there. Ki new kill streak. We're getting shit hard. Certainly interesting. Oh, sorry. There's a sniper in the building over there. Ah! Yeah, it... Oh, no, oh, that's just friendless. <laughs> So I'm, I'm yeah, curious, did any of you guys watch uh, Call of Duty next Thursday? Uh, I, I wasn't able to. Okay, can I talk about something real quick? And what's that? Why Go are there it. team names that change with each map if we're not, if our operators are going to be the same each time? That's a, that's a very, that's a very good question. I'm curious if that's a, if that's a beta thing where the operators yeah. aren't changing just for the beta and then when the full game comes out that you will select your preferred skin per faction but that but see then that's something and that's something else that i wanted to bring up but this is a natural segue into it so thank you for doing that is i is that yes these classic maps are back however <laughs> The, uh, these classic maps, of course, were built around the story of the original Modern Warfare 2 from 2009. And so that, you know, or that original story from 2009. Meanwhile, they're now bringing them forward. And at first I'm like, OK, yeah, it's, you know, they're just remaking the, the maps and everything. But now, but as, as we saw there at the end screen, it said that it was the one for one versus the Spetsnaz. Now, mm. that's not necessarily now. I'm, you know, I'm there are some Russian factions in the new campaign, as, as we know, the one for one. Of course, you play, you play as the allegiance. And right. I, I could be forgetting getting those uh, names uh, mixed up. Whoops. No, well, they're at those were th those were the titles for uh, the Modern Warfare 2019 faction. That's actually um, the spec grew, and th they're even worse than Modern Warfare 2 2022. Yeah, because it was it was spec grew, and I and and I can't even remember the other one. It was uh, Cortex. Cortex. Thank you. Yeah. So, so I so question mark. Yeah. yeah. So now so. So here, seeing that, the, so you know, Spetsnaz one for one. Okay, those are factions that could be relevant given the new the new campaign. However, on on this map, I think it would actually be it's going to be the it's the Rangers versus the Spetsnaz. I don't think, yeah. from what I've seen at least, I don't think the Army Rangers have anything to do with um, the new Modern Warfare Three story. So why exactly yeah. are they are they a, a listed faction here? It's literally just because they were you know one of the factions in the original Modern Warfare Two. But it's like so. But now we have factions that don't necessarily match the you know the the context of the of the story and what helps shape a, a, call, a call of Duty game and with its you know art art yeah. style and and locations and all that because because <laughs> while the campaigns are certainly underappreciated um when it comes to call of duty it's like they you know the story and how the campaigns are built do shape do shape the how, how how the multiplayer is is built because it's presented. like all the yeah pre it's presented that's ex that's a perfect word because it's like that's the whoop ah because that's the because yeah, you know, that, that's that's the that's the story. So it's like it it makes sense for say in advanced warfare for these to be a bunch of maps set in the future and not say Normandy Beach. So so like so like this map specifically is in the is in the middle of. I mean, I think they're slightly recontact. I think they're saying I think it's Pittsburgh now. Or something where I don't yeah, I don't it's know New York. It used to be like Pittsburgh or Philly, I think. Yeah, so it's like, it's I something it like Philly. that. I suppose it really doesn't matter. the 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 point behind it is American city under attack. It's turned into a war zone, which is really the you know the yeah the point behind it. So so, but but again, based on what we've seen from the from the story content that is going to be in the new Modern Warfare 3, it doesn't seem like America comes, at least for, again, we haven't seen everything, so the things, so we could be wrong about this, but it doesn't seem like America has turned into a war zone in the new Modern Warfare 3. So why have they... 
you know, so, so like, so this map contextually in, involved with the campaign, it doesn't make any sense. It's still a cool map. Oh, it is for sure, but it just, it just makes, it just doesn't make really that much sense in regards to the to the story. And now there there will be actual new maps that will be coming that will be coming out um, in the in, you know like after the game launches in the in the actual you know content seasons. And so those will probably be inspired by the campaign. But uh, it you know a lot of a lot of ah dang it. How did you not die? <laughs> I got blown up with a grenade, and yet you're fine. We were standing right next to each other. <laughs> so I feel like it does, for those that are kind of complaining about this, I feel like it does kind of lead credence to the, this was not originally supposed to be a full game on its own, and was really just supposed to be like an, ex an expansion pack thing because of how these maps just don't really make any sense in the... Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, I'm, I'm like of two minds. On one hand, I'm thinking that, well, since they went with the whole, oh, let's remake all, all the maps from Modern Warfare 2, I... Uh, it... I suppose it makes sense to still keep the setting for those original maps, ev even if it clashes with uh, with with the storyline of the ah. of the campaign. Um, since I mean, like the, when they've done uh, remake maps in the past, there some have been set in the same location. Uh, while other times they completely change the lo locale, so it fits the setting more. Like shipments, every single time yeah, they redo yeah. that one. Exactly. It's different each time, and I am of the opinion it is way cooler in this one. I like the rain. Now, yeah, no, the the rain in Modern Warfare 2 does does add a little something to it. I'll I'll agree. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I oh, go ahead. Look so, I, I, so, so I suppose for the maps, I, I, I am willing, or oh, I don't know if willing is the right word here. Really, it's just coerced into. For f co considering what this g game may or may not have been supposed to be originally. What its origin was. Yeah, and especially since they are banking so hard on nostalgia, uh, it would be weird, in a sense, if they just took this map and put it in a different locale, like s say somewhere in Urzikstan or right or, like or that, Russia. Which, yeah. yeah. Which I'm, I mean, I, su I suppose it could work. Oh, but... it's a it's a burst! I didn't realize that was a burst pistol. <laughs> Yeah. It would probably make more sense if it was just, oh, here is Season 1, we're adding a Skidrow as a new map. But it's, oh, here's all Modern Warfare 2 2019 maps at launch. <laughs> Go have fun. So, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> This is just, as, as, as discussed last time, this is just a weird situation all mm. around where nothing makes sense, and yeah. But as, as for the factions, that that's where I'm really more boggled, where why have this like, is it just for nostalgia because it was... Like yeah, that. You know, but no, it isn't. Or is it? Is it just a placeholder? It, but, but that's a weird placeholder, since they would have to put it in there in the first place and not just lift it. I don't know. It, it's just weird. <laughs> Especially since I did see uh, on the favela map some from some clip that one of the that the. Uh, they had the militia faction, which mm -hmm. yeah, definitely not there. in the new one. Yeah, and th that that's I suppose could be 
I mean, it's, it, it, it could just be one of those gene generic words, but consider... Yeah. But, but, but if that was just that specific, uh, you know, faction, that... And if, if it was just a one-time thing, I, I probably wouldn't think about it, but considering we have this here, again, we're, we're seeing Spetsnaz versus Rangers. Just like in, just like in old, <laughs> just like old, uh, mm -hmm. old times. Just like old times, there we go. So it's definitely... <laughs> something I, 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 I don't get. Unless it's a placeholder thing. Don't be cute about it, either just go in with the thing or don't. That, that's what exactly. I, that's more my yeah. complaint. Yeah. Don't make a little reference to it. This is it's a really stupid thing that you're doing. Right now we're kind of, we're in the era of not uniformity, but like kind of letting each player create however they choose in their in terms of their cosmetics. There is you can do some uniformity like uh just as an example, Halo's been doing it for ages. You can basically customize how your Spartan looks. You could in one and two, it was really down to like the colors, but in, uh, three onward, you could change uh, helmets, you could change uh, armor plates, what your backpack is. Like, if you were super good at the game, you could get a katana that you could put on your back and a flaming helmet because you were just that cool. But that's not how it is now, and I don't. And I don't see them doing that here in Call of Duty, not with all the sponsored skins that Fortnite brought in, for better and for worse. More for worse than better, but yeah. yeah. I was yeah. just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I like Cursed. I love that Skeletor is being added in, into this game, and I will be buying it. I'm even, I'm even kind of wanting to get the Alucard skin, even though I've never read or watched Hellsing. It looks really sick. Oh, it Hellsing collab? Yeah. Helsing's in the game. <laughs> I thought that was uh, I thought that was Castlevania. I thought it was too, and if it were, I would have gone so crazy because uh, the new anime just came out. Yeah. You've been watching it? I have not. I don't have Netflix. Oh. But I love Castlevania to death. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't surprise me if Konami did something like this, even well, I mean, if their and... first choice was like for some reason that red pyramid thing from Silent Hill. See and that and that's and that's a surprise to me because I because I mean I think I, I hear Alucard the first thing I think of is Castlevania, so I'm I'm I, I yeah. was I, I really thought that oh this is a Castlevania thing. This is a Castlevania skin that's in this game, but yeah. I guess not. Now when you first heard the name Skeletor, what were you thinking? He Man Masters of the Universe. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, there's I not really there's not really another Skeletor out there. That's pretty specific. Yeah. Plus, you gotta admit, he looks pretty hot in this game. <laughs> Granted, we're saying this game, this is the beta to Modern Warfare 3. We're discussing the skins in Modern Warfare 2. It's gonna be in this game, though. It would no, it will. That's true. But is it available yet? No. Yes, it will be. He man, that is terrible. I'm sorry. Until we meet again. No, I, I just, I just, yeah. I, I, I love the, I just love the. <laughs> I love the <laughs> oh, it's, um, are you in the match right now, Daxter? Oh, no, I see it. Oh? I see it. Never mind. Okay. I, no, you are. You are. Yeah, okay. The, okay, it was, good. yeah, sorry. I am it was woman. just a, well, no, the, the green line on the, on the teammate thing was, was only showing three. And I'm like, uh, what? When there should have been, okay. you know, four of us, but then, four. then you, then you showed up. So yeah, yeah, no. And I don't know why I'm thinking of it now, but with Helsing in this game, where's Dante? Where's Dante from Devil May Cry? From Devil May Cry Five. Ooh. Or, or I believe his full legal name is featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so so th this is one of the reasons why I was very interested in the fact that they were remaking all these old maps because all the old fans are going, yes, I can't wait to play this map skin. And then the, oh, there's going to be all these old these new people that have never played them before, 
and they're and then they're you know they're going to get into some of the stuff and they're going to go oh this map is terrible what are you talking about i think this is one of those maps where it's like it's, i know for a fact there's going to be people online that are going to hate favela why is that? I'm I'm really curious. It it's it's a it's a it's a sloped plane to start with, so there's already some verticality to it, and then it's lots of in and out of buildings, so there's not any clear there's not a lot of clear sight lines. It's a lot of you know there, it's you're being shot from all over the place. I mean, this is why I was really happy. This map is why I was happy with Modern Warfare 2019 because the maps had some of that. Had had a lot of, had a lot of that going on, and, and people complained, and they were like, "Oh, why why am I getting shot from a window?" I'm like, "Cause it's a war zone in a town," and a lot of them say, "Oh, but that's not the way Black Ops Four works." Yeah, cause that's because Black Ops Four's map design is terrible. It was, it was so, three lines. Yeah, it was three so, lines, sometimes a circle. Yeah, so and and Nuke Towns in it again. Surprise, surprise. So. So the fact that you know the 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 map the map design is is you know if you, it, I mean this feels like an actual location rather than a curated multiplayer arena which I I really enjoy. Yeah, I I did notice that about this map. It was surprisingly window filled. Ooh. I don't think I I don't think I don't care for it for that reason. It's actually quite refreshing. I, I think I just get more annoyed that there are ah. more places in Brazil, and for some reason everyone focuses on favela. At least every American developer out there. And whatever Ubisoft is going to be considered. French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee <laughs> <laughs> wee, oui, oui, on baguette. You wee soft. You wee soft. <laughs> Well, and I and I will and I will say though is that I could see some old fans being upset with this map now. Is that I think they I think they actually added a couple more buildings you can run into compared to the compared to the original. So, uh, so there. I over forgot about overpass. Yeah, overpass. That's another one that's going to be coming. That's a good one. So it's like it's just really hard to miss with Modern Warfare Two maps. They're just so yeah. so good. Yeah, you'll you'll for, you'll forget about some, and then you'll remember them, and then you have. But then you have either fond memories or really like angry memories. Overpass for me was where I learned uh, Stalker plus Tack Knife. And speaking of tactical, can anyone tell me what this tactical view mode thing is? I was just about to ask that actually. Yeah. Like... Okay. So hit. So if you're aiming down sights and you hit bottom on, and you hit down on the D-pad, then it just tilts your gun. So it's it's kind of, it's uh you know it's basically so, it's a it's cheap like it's a cheap fire, it, but... yeah it's a halfway between hip fire and aiming aiming down sights, and it's kind of like their Call of Duty's answer to, being able to lean your gun in Rainbow Six, but not quite. Yeah. I thought that was I thought that was mounts. No, because mount makes you stay in a fixed position. Where you know in Rainbow Six you can move around while your gun is is turned. So uh, I I don't see it. This is real. This is a really dumb addition. I, I'm sorry, Sledgehammer. The one new thing you added to this game, and I hate it. I don't I don't I don't I don't think it's dumb at all because it's the the way it's described it, it's that because you know sometimes if you're trying to clear a building your your AR can maybe be a little too big for the job and so it takes up too too much so you can now tilt it if you're try, if you're trying to clear a room in a in a building and so it you know it being that in between hip fire and ADS it can make it easier to clear out buildings so it's like I I haven't put it in too much practice yet but I think it's an interesting idea. I'm not. I'm not prepared to write it off completely yet. Yeah, I. Uh, the the moment I was uh, toggle between that, I was kind of like, what the heck is even the point of this? But now that he hearing that, and now actually tr trying out, I'd see that. Oh, I do move a little faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can that see way. that. So yeah, I I, I I can see it being useful. Uh, um, I'm holding it's judgment. Situational. 
I, yeah, yeah, and I and I think that's good. However, the fact that it has to be explained like that is maybe a detriment against it. Yeah. Yeah. Because like you also, really should. Because three different kill streak types: defensive, oh, offensive, and supportive. Or am I thinking of the wrong Modern Warfare 3? You're thinking of the wrong Modern Warfare 3. Okay. Like, I could have sworn they had that. Ow, 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 ow. Ah! Returning maps made by Sledgehammer. That's an SAE. Oh, wow. I got hit by, like, when I was jumping midair by the splash damage. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, yep. That's the SAE kill streak for you. <laughs> Actually, that's not. Or I shouldn't clarify. It was on a wall, and I was jumping off a building, and it like perfectly hit the side of the wall. I did forget to ask this. How does everyone feel about the gear system? It's new perk. I'm. Setup. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not really anything new. It's just a different word for perks, and it gives you different clothes. Oh, that's neat. Which really is just an um, expanded. Uh, e e expansion of how perks use uh, worked in Black Ops One, mm -hmm. where the oh, yeah, first perk right. would would be the one that changed your appearance. Okay, I was about to say I forgot. I didn't. I think I didn't give them enough slack. They actually made something new. But now that you say it like that, wow! Come on, guys. Well, it's sledgehammer. What'd you expect? Yeah, I. And to be fair, that system hasn't been used since. So, yeah, no, it was used once in 2010 and never again. Are under control. And it's also not quite the same, I guess. I don't know. I I I haven't really I haven't played around with it since this is the first time I'm playing. So. <sighs> Hit your shots. Okay, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just there. glad they're not doing the, oh, uh, you need to wait until yeah. you get all your perks available, because that never made sense. Not a, not a good call. Not, not, a, not a great system. Yeah, no, it, that was an interesting idea, but yeah, no, it didn't really work out in practice. Ooh, can I steal oh, this? Watch out package? for that, Guardian. Also, I think that... Ops. Yeah. I'm stealing this. No. Ooh! Did you get it? You got it! I nice. got it! And it's a Juggernaut Recon, I didn't realize. Oh, well, yeah, yeah because the, the, the regular care package is not available in the beta, so if you see a care package, oh, it's a Juggernaut Recon. Oh, okay, I didn't realize. Oh, oh I'm getting... <laughs> they threw everything they had at me! <laughs> it's a little rude. Guy gets a kill streak, and they immediately... Well, to be fair, I stole it, so I get. I, I... <laughs> ah! Oh. All right, domination, everyone, not like, our game. Uh, can everyone to like turn away from the screen, please? Why? Why? I'm not seeing. Oh, is it? He... Oh, it wasn't. Okay, good. How did you think you were the last kill? Yes, I was. <laughs> oh, we just can't tell it was you. Okay. I don't think it was, but it probably should have been. Yeah, no. I'm just excited for the new, uh, the new flavor of salt that's going to be coming out here in what? A month? A little over, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's really, it's gonna be really refreshing. Yeah, I, 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 I can't wait for the year of. Oh my God, Modern Warfare Three sucks. Modern mm -hmm. Warfare Two was so much better. Yeah. After, mm -hmm. after hearing about how bad Modern Warfare Two was for a year. Was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because when I try to escape Battlefield, I can't get away from it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Battlefield <laughs> cycle even infects Call of Duty. <laughs> No, was yeah, I because I, I, I remember, I remember, you know, in the lead up to Modern Warfare 2 this time last year, people going, 
it's like oh Vanguard is just so it's just so bad it's like I can't wait for you know Modern Warfare 2 to come in and be this you know a good a good refresher and then everyone that likes Modern Warfare 2 is playing Modern Warfare 2 and then the people that don't like Modern Warfare 2 are on the are, are on the internet bashing it <laughs> and then, well, no, that's not true I think they're playing it and also bashing it at the same time uh, that's that's fair and it's so like got blue, a lot probably. of people yelling about Nicki Minaj being in the game and I'm like I don't care and I do wonder if it's just plain sexism because I don't hear anyone yelling about Twenty One Savage. No, I don't like him in the game either. <laughs> so I, I am a, I am, a, I am an equal opportunity. I don't like this skin <laughs> in this video game. Yeah, person. I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, equal rights because I hate everyone, everyone. equally. <laughs> yes. No, in some, in some ways, I actually dislike Twenty One Savage being in the game more <laughs> because he does, he's not even wearing a shirt. Oh, come on, That's just right. because you have flashbacks to Yegor doesn't mean you have to be scared of everyone with <laughs> Never mention shirtless Yegor ever again. I thought we, I thought we agreed on that. Yegor nipples. <laughs> Loki, I think you blew out your mic laughing so hard at that. <laughs> I really thought that's where you were going with that bit. No. No, it's just that it doesn't make any sense because he's in a war zone and he's not wearing a shirt. What are you doing, man? I don't know any of his songs, so I really can't make a joke about it. I don't, I, I don't know any of his songs either. It's... Again, oh. that's why we need to have Eminem, so that way I can make funny little jabs. Because he's Venom. Ah! Oh, that! I can't, wow, I can't believe that look. You, that really got you. I meanwhile, forgotten about it. Meanwhile, Lewis is just like, what? Yeah, you, you, you I'll don't want to know. Later, but... but unfortunately, Daxter is gonna send us a picture. I can't see. You will, you will, you will now also be cursed with this, uh, this sight. Wasn't it a free skin? Too? No, it Wasn't was in the battle pass. Had it? it was. It was. No, it was one of the. Oh. It was one of the early ones in the battle pass. Okay, I thought it was a free skin, but I think that was. Uh... It may I have been a free was... skin in the battle pass. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Like everyone had it. I will fire at friendlies. You know that I, I'm I'm curious if I had it or not. That's a that's a now. Did I ever use it? No. But did I have it? Actually, that's a good question. I don't know if I did or not. Oh my sweet Holger, I have missed you. Oh, where's my? Hey, what a grenade throw! This was what this was specifically one of the guns I remember I had. I bought a skid for. Where is it? Where did it go? Ah, come on. Alright, oh, so now that we... <laughs> no, uh, you go, you go. Okay, so it, so anyway, I, I had asked the question about Call of Duty Next. Did anyone watch it oh, yeah. on oh, Thursday? Like several minutes ago. It, it was, everyone... it was. But that was the topic I was moving on to before you gave me a good segue. <laughs> uh, no. No, I, I wasn't able to. I was out with a uh, couple of co-workers. Mm. And Lewis, I'm guessing the answer's the same for you. Oh. Remember, you're muted, Lewis, if you're trying to talk to us. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, you're there. Okay, hello. yeah, my mic was semi-unplugged. Um, oh, well. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, I, <laughs> Glad I know that now, but not gonna lie, I didn't know this game was coming out until you guys mentioned it in chat. Ah, so yeah. like three days ago, I found out. <laughs> mm. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, grateful. So, uh, so can I can I just say, Call, Call of Duty? Because I, I actually I didn't watch the whole thing only because I was I was like, oh my gosh, how are they still going on with this? So uh, I. I started to watch it, but then I ended up dipping out because I because it, it went on for like two and a half hours. 
And I was like, what, what the heck? Is yeah, no, it was way too long. Last year, they kept it to like an hour and a half maximum. Maybe not even that. Ethan, that feels really long. And it, but there, there was a lot. There was a lot. There was a lot to talk about last year. Yeah. But, but this year, I felt like they really stretched it, and uh, and they didn't have as much to talk about. However, I will say, I think one of the reasons it went so long was not necessarily their fault, because this was a disaster of a stream on a technical level. Oh, it was, oh. it yeah, was bad. Kind of... Oh yeah, because the because it's it started, and you know they had their normal little talk about at the beginning where they're like, hey, we're these people that you don't know, and we're here to talk about Call of Duty, and we've got the heads of uh, of Sledgehammer here to talk about Call of Duty, and they did that for like 10 minutes, which is, you know, reasonable, that makes sense, and they're like, alright, we've talked long enough, you, you've listened to us ramble on long enough, you know, here's some gameplay, and then they cut to all the content creators that were, that were you know, playing the game, and then, uh, but then when they cut to them, the their connection was bad to all the stream setups they had so the gameplay was bleeding you know the screen they have the screen tear bleed effect whenever like something is trying to buffer and it was doing that for everyone they cut to and then oh, when the, and so they finally so they finally got that sorted out but then they had a problem where they couldn't match the audio of the gameplay to the streamer so you were so we were watching one streamer we were hearing someone else's audio completely Huh. Okay. Yeah. So that went on so that went on for a little while and then they finally got that sorted out. So they kind of finally got that sorted out a little bit and then And then when they so they got that sorted out and then they talked about multiplayer a little bit more and they said, "All right, now we're going to pivot to the next thing we're going to talk about, which is the new mode in multiplayer." And then and and they and they teed it up like this is going to be the immediate next thing we're going to talk about. And then they cut back to more people on a couch talking about their favorite original Modern Warfare 2 memories for 10 minutes. And I'm like, what in the world is going on here? Why are we here when you said because I mean, they didn't exactly say and we're going to look at this now, but they was pretty clear that okay, the next thing that's immediately up is we're going to be taking a look at at this, you know, at at this new game mode that they're talking about. And then that's not what they went to and it was these people talking on a couch and in, so about five minutes into these people on the couch talking about their favorite Modern Warfare 2 maps I was finally like they oh they're having they're having issues getting it pulled up because because in the because they're on this like second story deck type thing and there's and all the and you can see all of the people playing the game down below below them and you could see a lot of people standing up and people running around and stuff like oh they're having major connection issues with all this stuff trying to get it to work okay that makes that makes sense i'm understanding a little bit more what's going on now so yeah they spent a while trying to get trying to get that all figured out and then ah and then they finally showcased the new mode and then they were done with that and then and then they went, okay, and now we're going to take a look at the new zombies mode. And then they they went back to the people on the couch again, but it was only for like... <laughs> but, but it, it was only for like two or three minutes. So this was literally just, okay, we're just getting the game mode swapped around on everyone's PCs. And, you know, so, down uh, on the street what streamer base. So. memory of playing zombies? So, uh, it, kind of, kind of. And so, everyone can only remember like... Knock their totem and yeah. Block so up so it and... so it didn't last as long, thankfully. And then uh... ah, so it didn't last as long, thankfully. And then they moved on to zombies. But uh, it was judging by the chat and everyone's reactions on on Twitter afterward. Um, people are not happy about what they're doing with zombies in uh, Modern <laughs> Warfare Three. Oh, that that's that's not a surprise considering that's, it's not yeah. round based. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I did hear what is it like open world based? Or it it's it's yeah. DMZ zombies. That's that's what it is. Interesting. I'm willing to take a look at it. And I knew you would like that, but it's like the hardcore zombies fans they are they are ticked. They are not happy. I, I, yeah, I don't care about those guys. It's a change to the formula. I'm willing to see how it plays out. I mean, let's let's be real. The variety is the spice of life. Mm -hmm. 
which is not something zombies players know. Well, and I know I'm not going to particularly care for it either, but I'll probably at least give it a try and, and you know, play it every every now and again. But, uh, but oh man, it's just like... Some of, some of these people talking about talking about it, they are they are mad. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, because I I came to the conclusion a while ago that there is a certain subsect of Call of Duty fan that only plays Call of Duty for zombies. Like, the fact that it's a military shooter, they could care less about. They just want to kill zombies, and that's what they play zombies for. So, the, so anytime they do anything different with zombies, people get ticked. Like with 3 or Black Ops 3 or, or Advanced Warfare? Or is there a more specific... And, and like... any non-Treyarch zombies. Basically, okay. yeah. E e even though Treyarch is... I, I think they're making zombies for this one. They I, are. I know they did for Vanguard. Because, yeah, but the thing is they also did for Vanguard, so that's not necessarily saying much. Yeah. Interesting. Looks like they have uh, reload cancels instead of the uh, Modern Warfare 2 animation, uh, animation uh, sticking with the animation, but I think that was something people complained about earlier now that I'm thinking about it. Right? Yes, so yeah. so reload cancel or... and slide and slide cancel are both back in this game, which were not actually... It's so funny because they were quote-unquote <clears throat> Warfare 2019, but they weren't actually features, they were bugs. They were small little, they were, well, not necessarily, bug is the wrong word, but they were, they were exploits. That's the word I'm looking for. They were exploits in Modern Warfare 2019 that people used. So, like, slide canceling especially, because, because if you slide, if you slid cancel, it would reset your tax sprint. So, people spammed that in Warzone all the time back in the day, and it got really annoying. Um, and so they removed it in Modern Warfare 2 because Infinity Ward went, oh, that's kind of fun. That's kind of silly of us to to have these to have these exploits in there that we didn't that we didn't consider. So yeah, we're going to remove that in our next game. So they were, what are you doing? Uh. So they so they got upset about that, and then and then reload cancel was was sim reload cancel. I'm a little more lenient on because oh, okay, neat, okay. <laughs> it's do is it doing weird things for you guys too? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just not sure what to do. It, it it's really confused. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, now we can play. It, uh, it's it's a beta. It is working as intended. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is not working as intended. <clears throat> So anyway, reload cancel I was a little more lenient on because I could actually see the uh, the need to, to. It's like yeah, if you're yeah. caught if you're caught unawares, if you could just suddenly cancel your reload, that's not the worst thing in the world. But but uh, slide cancel that was one of those things. I'm like no, let's let's not let's not do this. I don't I don't like slide cancel. But the funny thing is, people have been playing around with it, and it's not. And they've they put them back in the game, but they've nerfed them to a point to where it's it it makes more. It's you know it's it's you know it, it's an actual feature now, so it's not as busted as it was back in Modern Warfare 2019. So now people are going, oh, they ruined slide cancel. Oh, it's wow. like I'm not surprised, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, card players. Yeah. Never change. Or please do, because you're annoying. <laughs> Actually, you know, if you could say that to the Halo option. guys, which, funnily enough, I was thinking about, I, well, I've been playing a lot of Halo 3, and it got me into thinking about early, like, the, the mid-2000 shooters, especially with, you know, today coming up and discussing the beta. It, it's really interesting to see how... Uh, Halo has changed in their map design over the years because I think you would really like early Halo maps, uh, Prentice. They were very, they f a lot of them felt like locations. Ah. Maybe not the most realistic locations, but places. Well, I mean, it's like, a, uh, a sci-fi shooter, so I mean, yeah, yeah there is going to be some level of. Oh. 
one of the oh. one of my favorites from three uh, is it's like favela in, in the fact that it's uh, it's ver it's kind of got that verticalness. There's a stronghold at the top, and at the base there's like a lake. And one team starts from the top, one team starts from the bottom, and they just kind of converge. Mm. Yeah, that does sound cool. it's super fun for, like, one flag after the flag or oddball or something like that. Or, uh, oh. they good one. I mean, bl Blood Gulch, everyone likes oh. Blood Gulch and Coagulation. Which is Blood Gulch, but now you, ha now you have a funny little jet. Wee. I think that's just to accommodate the vehicle gameplay, but. Well, I, I will say, so I'm going through the, uh, I'm, I'm doing more COD campaign retrospectives this year, like I did last year. Yay. Um, and I'm going, so because Sledgehammer is, is working on this game, I'm doing the three Sledgehammer campaigns, uh, which of, which I haven't gotten to Vanguard yet, but I'm sort of. I'm kind of looking forward to it and dreading it at the same time. And, <laughs> and I'm yeah, about I, I, I can't see why. <laughs> and I'm, I'm about halfway through editing my uh, COD World War II video right now. Um, Have so, you already done Advanced Warfare? Y yeah, because that, cause that was okay, the first I'm, one they did. What, because, I well, it's, it's, it. But that's because it's not out yet. Oh, okay, okay. I was getting scared there for a second. Like, that. Yeah. one of your uploads. Your, no. One of your re retrospective uploads? Well, actually, it is uploaded, but it does not publish until later in the month. So okay. it's 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 ready to go. So, because Advanced Warfare was the first sledge, mainline Sledgehammer game that they did on their own. So, uh... Which, so, Advanced Warfare was interesting. COD World War II was interesting. Um, but so I'm going to do those and then I'll just, you know, since I've already done all, all of those, I'm going to finish things up with Treyarch since they'll be up next year anyway. And then after that, I am very, because it's kind of cheap, I'm considering getting an Xbox Series S and getting the Master Chief Collection and going through Halo. Oh, because, okay. The, okay. And, and doing videos on those like I've done for COD. Because I, I know those are probably games I'm going to enjoy to a certain degree because yeah. Yeah, and, you know i'm a shooter i'm a shooter guy i like sci-fi and, and and it's like everything i hear about halo it's like yeah no this probably would be something i would really enjoy and it's just been a case of i don't own an xbox yeah hang on uh Prentice, yeah, before you do i can that, relate to that i send me the specs for your pc you may be able to run it on there and i can i, I would gladly buy it for you on Steam. no i i'm sure i'm sure i could i'm sure i could especially the older ones but I, but it's Halo is one of those. Well, I mean, I could plug in a controller. So, but yeah, you um, can actually. You but can even it's use your dual sense? Question mark. It might be a little finicky. That would that would be funky if I if I could use a dual sense with Halo. That would I be really the, funny. I used a Switch Pro controller whenever I first got it. Not to say illegal. illegal. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, the reason I say that playing is an Xbox don't... game with a dual sense. Yeah. So, but anyway, as I was as I was saying, yeah, I know I could do the older ones, oh. but I what the heck was that? That was a oh, it's a sniper rifle. Oh, it's one of the pre-order sniper rifles. Okay, turned me into ice. Oh yeah, that weird bolt action mm -hmm. like AK style. Yeah, but it's a sniper rifle. That's yeah, that's a funky that's a funky gun. Mm -hmm. I but, can't uh, love it or hate it. Anyway, while I'm sure I could run the older games, it's the it's like Halo it's like Halo 4 onward I'm more concerned about. So it's like okay. I mean, it, I'll just I mean, considering the the Series S is, you know, like 300. Yeah. Or le, or or like if I can get a Black Friday sale where it's like, you know, 230 with with like a Game Pass subscription or something, then it's like I mean, yeah. you know, why why not? Now am I going to do that immediately? No, I'm probably going to wait a little uh, wait until like this time next year to do that if I do that. But uh yeah, the the reason I I kind of I would love to push you towards the PC side is and honestly, if you show me what you got in your computer, I might be able to tell you what you can and can't play. But uh, there is co-op uh, co campaign is actually a really fun way to play the game, and it's for all of the games. Oh. Ah. Unfortunately, for some reason, the PC version doesn't have it. I'll have to see if there's ah. a mod to let you play with Xbox players. But as of now, they have not. Uh, 
and nor, nor do I think they intend to do that. Because I, I love this game so much. Well, now speaking of campaign co-op, you guys probably aren't oh. going to enjoy this, but I, uh -oh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to have to decide how I want to do this. Is when I go through the Treyarch games, one of those oh, does no. have a can a co-op campaign. Oh yes. So it's a question of how do how do how do I do that? Do I play it solo because that's the way all the others can be played, or do I try to play it the way it's supposed to be experienced with a squad? In which case, let's do it. Oh no. Wait, what's because the number? Of let's do people? it. I think it's I think it's four. It's oh, four. No. Or no, it's three. It's three. It's three. No, it's three. We, yes. no, no. We played it. We played it with three, but I'm pretty sure it's four. Yes. Yeah, sorry, I, 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 I no, distinctly I remember three, but... seeing as uh, they showcase Black Ops 3 at E3. I think it was E3 in a way, and they showed the uh, co-op. And I do distinctly remember there being four screens they had mm -hmm. up at, like, may maybe not up at the same time, but I do remember there being four screens, kind of like how it would look like on... Uh, if you were playing split screen. You can't oh. see it, but I have the stupidest grin on my face. Well, and and then <laughs> I and I bad idea. One oh. and one of the reasons I and one of the reasons I know this is because I've been use I've been using the Black Ops 3 trailer for uh for B-roll in in these in these, you know, COD retrospective videos and so I I know there is a shot in the trailer of of uh of all of four character models staring into that big abyss that you can jump into, like yeah. in a third of the way through the campaign. So it's like that's mm. what tells me that it's a it's a four player. Because why would they show four character models if if it wasn't four? We're taking alpha. Securing objective Bravo. We're losing Charlie. No, 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 what a bad time to run out of ammo! Dang it! Ah! <laughs> so close! <laughs> Swapping to your pistol is faster than reloading, but it comes with a lower ammo count. Locked up. Why didn't you just swap Upstairs. back? Upstairs. Because I hadn't reloaded my main gun. <laughs> So now, the only thing about doing that Black Ops 3 thing, though, is that if we wanted to invite Lewis, you'd have to actually have to buy it, and it'd probably be, like, full price, because... Uh, he could just pick up a physical copy. No, no, that's true. That's true. You, you could probably find a physical copy pennies. at... Yeah, yeah no, uh, yeah, physical... Huh? The zombies... Of the new game? The only ver no, 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 uh, we're talking about Black Ops 3, 3 which is a 2015 okay, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, you can get one of those at GameStop for cheap. I hadn't no, thought of that. I I would pr I would prefer that you support your local game shop if you have one, but seriously, whatever method, I don't care. I love the idea of doing a co-op campaign like this. Now it's so yeah. So I'm I'm saying all this just to let you guys know well in advance because it's it's gonna be a while before we get to this point, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's Surprise! like this. <laughs> Surprise! We're doing it okay. tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't see it was a friendly Juggernaut. <laughs> Oops. I only saw a Juggernaut heading <laughs> for me and I had a <laughs> I had a panic attack. It's okay, babe. The Juggernaut can't hurt you. It's friendly, apparently. Don't worry, Recon Juggernaut isn't real, Recon Juggernaut. <laughs> I would like to see a, a just a regular Juggernaut tax sprint at me. <laughs> oh gosh. No, no, that, that sounds terrifying. Big old beefy boy coming through. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. The earth boom, shakes boom. with each step. Yeah. <laughs> he says quietly as he approaches me, What are you doing in my swamp? Ah. 
Requesting recon flyover. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Recon is online. Oh, so yeah, not to spoil any of my thoughts, Loco, but I am curious because I don't think we've ever really discussed it. But just what are what are your in general thoughts about the COD World War II campaign? Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. No, yeah. no, no. It's not, it's not that. It's that I haven't played. Like I've only played it once, so oh, my okay. memory is okay. Real fussy. I Got remember it. it being fine. I had. I, f I think my overarching issues that I do still remember was the whole. Oh, you know, we're going back to the roots of the series. Um, by, uh, f for instance, by, uh, by 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 go going back to having a health bar. And that was one of those things where I I I see what they were going f with, but I I don't think I I think they completely misunderstood what made the OG COD so good. <laughs> hmm, sledgehammer uh, not understanding what makes COD good, it's shocker. Yeah, uh, like the. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Excuse me, color me imp impressed that they got it wrong. Uh, yeah, like uh, I, I, it, it had some decent moments, but it, I don't know. Uh, really, it boils down to the fact that, um, you know, it, it's fine, but considering yeah. all the World War Two games we've had, I'm, I'm kind of like, okay, but this one is just. This doesn't stand out to me. Well, I'm, I'm I'm not particularly a great fan of that campaign either because I mean, shocker, it's a battlefield campaign. <laughs> um, that isn't bad company. One, one and two. Uh, but that one at least is. Oh, here are some uh, feeders of war that we haven't really seen that much in World That's, War Two games. It's more than just the yeah. Western Front. Exactly. Yeah. Or and, it was and, and different that, points of view. Like the, uh, who's the Finnish lady? I liked her. German. Thank you. Yes, I love, I, outside of the game bugging out on me and not being able to finish it, I really, oh. I thought, oh. I thought hers was the most unique. Uh, oh, the Norwegian one? Yeah, Norwegian. I thought she was Finnish. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, no, that's something I would have loved to see, but... I, uh, Since that's one step closer to Swedish. Well, now, Daxter, why... Oh, why Swedish snipers, that's why, that's why. Well, now, that, Daxter, why would, you, why would you think she's finished if you didn't even finish the mission? Uh, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm because you, you. I mean, called World War Two starts with D Day, and it's like. But they never do D Day. Yeah, <laughs> and really, I, I get the impression that, you know. Because I, I do remember there was a video. Ah from that time that compared uh, the COD World War II uh, beach landing scene with uh, one of the uh, Medal of Honor games. And I think what really struck me is that while COD World War II on paper, you know, should be the better one. Bigger and better, has, yeah. Yeah, advanced graphics and everything, but mm -hmm. it was just, well, incredibly short quick doesn't capture the scale very yeah very extremely linear as well because uh, i i remember what being like wait it's already over i've already gone up, gone yeah. through the beach mm -hmm. landing and i'm moving further yep. inland it wasn't and a struggle that, that that is actually one thing i do distinctly remember finishing the first mission mission and being like Ah, uh, I'm not sure I enjoyed that. <laughs> and being like, uh, do I even want to bother with the rest of the campaign? And and then I did, and it did improve. And and then train. 
Yeah, yeah th then the train <laughs> happened. I was like, what <laughs> is what is going on? No, I, I I counted it. It is 37 straight seconds of a train crash. What? Yeah, no. There's so first of all, this never happened. They made they made it up. Shocker. Oh, but, yeah, that there's, there's, surprise no. me whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. So big. So you know, big big train crash. They made it up. Never <laughs> never actually any any big train. Um, it's like now there what there were there were big trains that the Germans did use, but not at that time and not in that theater. They used them on the Eastern Front. So. Oh, against the. Against oh, the Russians, so we yeah. Seen it in World of War, World at War with the Russians. Correct, time. yeah. If yeah, if we'd seen it at all, it would have been World at War. So, so, so they include, so they include this train crash about this train that never existed, and then, and then of course they, so you know they had they have it crash because of course they do. Why wouldn't they? And it's like granted, I mean, if I were designing a Call of Duty game, I'd probably have the train crash too. Yeah. But. Yeah, but it would, it goes on for so it. long. They go on. It goes on for so long that it goes on for thirty seven continuous seconds, and it just is. It's just insane. It's like I mean, it's uh, even Michael Bay would go. Mm, you probably should have cut that. That's a little. Too, yeah. That's a little too much. <clears throat> yeah, and honestly, that whole scene really sums up my problems with the World War II Woo! campaign because for all the efforts they do put into it and it and like really trying to capture the feeling of the old classic CODs they they they, they, they still are for all intents and purposes making a Michael Bay movie mm -hmm. and sometimes Which, it works sometimes it doesn't yeah it, it uh, yeah like like I said it has it has its moments like I like the battle of the bulge I mean, yeah, that that one was very very cool, and al also uh, it it it, it, it I'll grow up. <laughs> you know, I was contemplating saying I that, but I wasn't. Was coming, um... I wasn't even going to address it. I was I was really just not even going to address it. So, so thank you for voicing what I was going to say. You're very welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I was I was going to make a couple other jokes about about Bay not not Bay saying that the train scene was overkill, but I uh, I'll say it off stream. <clears throat> you were going to say it was the train wreck. Oh, oh no, that's a good one too. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. Speaking of no, train that, wrecks and video games, going. which I can only think of like three. Red Dead Two, I'm sure I think had one. Uncharted, Uncharted Two. two. Had, had it's always in a game with a two in it. Two, yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure Red Dead and Red Dead Two had had to they had to have, right? Of course I mean, we can't for a game. Of course, we can't forget Black Ops 3 here. Train go boom. Oh, uh, of different. course, yeah. That's different. That one just went boom, which... Oh, if we do co-op, Lewis, it's such a great line. Yeah. Oh. yeah now, no, the it, best part ab about the train sequence in uh, in the Cold World War 2... Uh, not, not really with that sequence because all of it is just bad but it it is immediate immediately followed up by one of the better missions where you are playing as this french resistance lady and going uh, uh <laughs> 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 i love how that got all of us yeah so that's one of the new so that's one of the new, so that one of the new gadgets i do yeah. like that one that one's kind of funny it's not, a, it's not as cool as the drill chart. Is that the breacher drone that it is. everyone yes. keeps talking? Okay, yeah. I, I like that one. It's it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Loka was talking about yeah. the res the resistance mission. Yeah, where you you're disguising yourself as a German and uh, go going incognito. James Bond or original Medal of Honor style. Yeah, I was about to say, isn't that like Sneaky Medal like of that, Honor that, Rising that was Sun? Cool. Rising Sun, oh my gosh, yes. Oh wait, no, it wasn't Rising Sun. Rising Sun was... No, uh, it was, was it it was Rising was Sun. It? Because, no, because I thought my, it was... Yeah, no, there is a mission in Rising Sun where you go, but but it's the Japanese that you, that you infiltrate, yeah. not the... Uh... No, but you do it, you do it in, the, in one of the other ones, too. I have it for the Xbox, oh, really? and I, oh, like, played yeah, it and I, thought, I, wow, I, this game is funky. I, I was going to point out that it, it, I'm pretty sure that's a thing they had in several Medal of Honor games. Okay, too, Because okay. Uh, they uh, made a lot of 
lot of those games in a lot in a very short time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like Call of Duty. Yeah. 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 Wow. I mean, I mean, some of them made by the same people. Yeah, I love gaming. Oh. Hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Oh! I can't believe I survived that. Okay. Uh. What the? Oh! What? 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 Oh! Okay. Oh, lag. Oh, lag. Yep. Spike. Yep. 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 Oh! Uh, I felt that. I felt the molests. Well, and then I was firing my gun, so suddenly there was a blur effect on my gun. It looked like my gun was on fire. <laughs> It's like, help, I Ghost Rider has infected my gun, what do I do? <laughs> oh, hang on, Ooh. is the doll in this? Where's the doll? I have found another use for the tactical thingy. If you're oh, using an ACOG scope, mm -hmm. it could be a good idea if, if you're going close quarters to go tactical instead. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, did they nerf? They nerfed the doll in the bathroom. Well, and it was never they, on the multiplayer map. It, it was, it was, it was only on the, uh, it was only on the campaign version. Okay, and Spec Ops, but I'm. And here. well, yeah, but the Spec okay. Ops was the campaign version. So, yeah. uh, should I say it or do you want to say it? No, let's. We can discuss that off air. I, the yeah. people that know know. We can fill in Lewis in a bit. Yeah. If <laughs> you know, you know. Thanks. I'm so happy. Yeah, best ca best character in the game. Doll in the bathroom. Oh, is it what I'm thinking? Yes, it is. is Possibly. It most likely. Answer? Yeah, yeah, most okay. likely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they nerfed it. Okay, noted. Yeah, no. Oh, it's so nerf for bad. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, we got nothing. <laughs> Dang. Actually, no, we didn't. They replaced it with like a ballistic figure. Oh. Huh. If you look at the, uh, yeah, if you look at the main oh, estate. Which, how much, have you, have we tried zillowing this place, seeing how much it would go for? <laughs> Good idea. I'm sure we'll find a buyer. Yeah. yeah. Once, be once belonged to a Russian <laughs> ultranationalist terrorist. Maybe steal some yeah. bloodstains. <laughs> Good fixer-upper. <laughs> Yeah. Nice trees, Lightly. home to constant gunfights. <laughs> Charred bodies down the hill. <laughs> Ex excellent greenhouse. Excellent greenhouse! <laughs> May still have some mines that haven't been cleared. Yeah, it's like, don't, don't go to the, don't go to the north forest, there may be some bouncing beddies. Keep dogs away. Three car garage with a basement. Yeah, it's like, hey, Fido, when'd you get there? What's that? A landmine boom! <laughs> Be wary of helicopters containing generals. Yes. yes. Perfect for your loved ones, uh, bar mitzvah. Oh. So yeah, let's get a little bit of, of ground war going. Oh yeah, let's change see how it up. That is. I was about to say, bum, yeah, we should do that. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, oh wait, sorry, dun, wrong dun, game. Dun, dun. <laughs> I mean, you might, like you that. might as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so looks like they brought back the different ammo types. I kind of wish that they. Uh, they really need to overhaul the. Uh, I, I wish they would overhaul the Modern Warfare Two. Uh, weapon system and give us the uh... okay. excuse you? Oh yeah, that was a weird was, it's what I call a herp it's a cross between a hiccup and a burp Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good Okay I, I, I want the I, the one thing that I think Modern Warfare 20, one of the things I think Modern Warfare 2019 did better was consolidating weapons Mm-hmm it just used different ammo types. Did like, did we really need? Do we really need two uh, 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 MP5s? We... Uh, that was a little uh, weird. 
Okay, so this is a new map, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is so this is one of the new locations on the new Warzone map. Okay. Whoa! Oh, oh, power. Oh. oh, low poly. Yeah, so it's, it's it's definitely it's back. ground war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 okay, now I will say it looks like something that. Model for three is doing better than Battlefield nowadays. You're starting to spawn with vehicles on the ground. Ooh. Oh yeah. How about that? I can take it. Oh, come on, come buddy, get in. Okay, that works too. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no! Oh no! A friendly got run over by the helicopter! Ah. Hashtag only in ground war. <laughs> only in ground <laughs> war. You know, destruction isn't what it used to be. Wait, if you squad spawn while someone's in a vehicle, do they automatically go in the vehicle, or are they just yes, like, on the yes. ground? Yes, yes. No, they're okay. automatically in the vehicle. No, that'd be pretty silly if, uh, <laughs> if, if you spawned on someone, you were just left behind, like, in the middle of a car chase. <laughs> I mean, didn't they do that, like, until they did it in, like, Battlefront, didn't they? Not in Battlefront, uh, I don't think. Oh wait, I'm thinking of like the originals where like the command post was the vehicle. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, the oh, original. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. The ori the original, yeah, the ATTE command it, post okay. in the original, yes. Gotcha. And the AT AT. <laughs> mm-hmm. And yes, the ATAT. -AT. AT AT. AT AT. What do you okay. ignore me? AT AT. <laughs> AT AT. Yes, you know the. The Star War with Baby Yoda. The Star. I hated that sentence. Now, now here's something and that's kind of funny. After after the ending of Ahsoka, we actually are in a in, we're actually in a realm where there could be a character in that could canonically in universe be able to say, "Is that a Baby Yoda?" And it would make sense. <laughs> He's clipping in the ground. Oh. So did you guys like Ahsoka? I liked it, yeah. Oh yeah. I heard a lot of people liked it. Nice. Ooh. One of my friends really, really liked it when uh, uh, she saw Hayden show up. Spoilers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't think that's... Uh, they, they released yeah. character posters. I don't think that's a spoiler. Yeah. Oh, hi! Nope. Bye! I didn't watch it. I, it's not that I like don't care about Star Wars. I just didn't feel like watching the show. Uh, I'm kind of in the other, I don't care about Star Wars boat, but I'm glad everyone likes it then. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it was a really good show, and I'm glad that they made a nice, oh. uh, a good callback to Rebels. That That's that's nice. Well, so, I'm the way it ends, Zep's I'm pretty sure dead. it's going to get a second season, so. Yeah. Zep's dead, ain't he? No. Oh, where is he? Just jot there? He showed up in Mandalorian. He, oh, he went over that in the ending to Rebels. Did you ever watch that? I okay. I never got past Rebels. Oh, no, he he made it. I he wish. made it through the first season. I think stopped. Yeah. Look, I'm uh, really bad with then? shows, especially. Yeah, I don't see myself watching it anytime soon. I, it's I'm, so I'm good. I vouch I know, for that show I so know. hard. <laughs> I know it's good. Um, Listen, dude, do you remember I'm the busy. episode? Oh yeah, go, go on. Go on, go on. Oh, do you remember the episode where he like found two members of his species? I don't think so. I got to about episode four. Honda Onaka shows up. Oh, <laughs> that's well, a good I'm one. Not... Yeah, that's it. For that sure. is a good one, just because Honda. Honda. But yeah, um, Zeb finds two members of his species who he thought was like extinct, but. Um... And they were like, no, we're hiding out in like this really, really remote corner of the galaxy. 
Um, and so they, Spoilers yeah, for Rebels, and, by the way, for those out there yeah. that haven't seen it. But it's it's oh, all yeah, on Disney yeah. Plus, and it, it's a show from 2014. Yeah. You had your chance. Yeah, I'm talking about like episode like six or something. Oh no, this oh, is well, deep so into the second season. Oh really? Wait, really? Oh yeah. Oh, I guess. Huh. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, old show ish, but. Yeah, at the end of the show, spoiler, uh, Zeb moves with them. He, like, goes oh, to that nice. very, very far part of the galaxy, and, yeah. How wholesome. I mean, yeah. Good for him. Well, and now, some, and, and something to clarify, because I think we've had this, wires crossed on this in the past. You are oh, yeah. thinking, you are thinking of the big purple guy, right, Daxter? Zeb. Zeb, yes. Okay, because I think in the past you've gotten Zeb and Kanan's names mixed up. I don't oh think so. I, I mean, that wouldn't surprise me, but I'm pretty sure I know that I, at least now, after hearing what Hera might have done with Kanan, <laughs> might have definitely done with Kanan. They have child, so yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, they have child. Thank you, Dex. You're welcome. Oh, they have hands. Oh, so War. sorry. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> what? Premarital handholding. Oh. <laughs> they might have been married. They just like never mentioned it. You know? They don't say they're not married. Know. Yeah. Canyon's pretty promis pr promiscuous, so. In what episode? <laughs> just all of them. I mean, He's Freddie Prince Jr. Of course he is. <laughs> all right, all right. This Did conversation's else... really going off the rails. <laughs> Did anybody else just like crash there? Because yeah, no, no. I'm, okay. I'm still in. I was, I was about to say I'm going on a killing spree, and then I died. But well, so. Have said that. So I, I did notice that suddenly you just dropped off the face of the earth, yeah. Lewis. So oh, yeah. oh, I'm seeing it now. So, okay, well, oh. I guess That's I guess fun. we'll finish. I guess we'll finish this up, and yeah. then uh, and then we'll get you back in. Yeah. Oh, come on! Oh, I I'm inside the tank. Help! Help! Uh, like, I'm, oh. I'm stuck in the tank. Help. Oh, no! Help. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, wait, I see you on the map. I see you on the map. What's going on? Oh I my, why? Um... I just see you jiggling around. What? What? What's happening? Yeah, I see I'm your. Oh, what? Tank. What are your feet no. doing? Ah! Oh, no. there you are. Oh, oh. oh man. I'm okay. kind of in there. Here. Let's go. Forward. Oh, there's a little. There's a can of, like, beer in here. In, in, the, in the turret. <laughs> why? Okay, that's hilarious. Are, are we the Russians or, or, or the? That's are, a, are we the good guys or the bad guys? No, we are Task Force I, One for One. We're the good guys. Okay, that makes way more sense. You know, British and all. Yeah, because there's Captain Price, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Are uh, we stuck? What's going on? Uh, hold, hold on. There we go. I can't see. I'm trying to fire the turret, and Daxter's in my way. Hang on, just. Get better. Oh, critical oh. damage, run! Get up. Whoa. <laughs> what was what was that? Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh. So how do we feel about the TTK? I've certainly noticed a change. It's but... long it's longer than in Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, it's not terrible, but it's I I think it's just me gonna take me getting used to it. It's not bad. It's not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. No, I've. It's definitely a. I'm gonna have to get used to it. But this may actually be a good sweet spot. I do have a. It's like I think pistols maybe need to get buffed, buffed so they. Bit, yeah. Because I'm like, okay, why is it taking this long to kill someone with a pistol? It's like, yeah, yeah it's I not, know, it's not I as know. It's like Black Ops Three, but. Because I know I know pistols use a smaller caliber round, but it's like it feels it really does feel like I'm shooting peas at people here. Yeah, it could be, but maybe it's just the Renetti. And that could be, maybe it's just the Renetti that needs buffed. 
Ow. Ah, I'm totally dead, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I got a flashbang checked at my face and the screen just went red. Yo, I got an error message and I tried to join back. Join failed because you are on a different version. Uh, what? Maybe because you... you're in the Modern Warfare 2 menu and you need to open up the Modern Warfare 3 menu. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, give that, give, yeah, give that a try, see what happens. Oh, up in the crane, there's a... Sniper. Oh, there's a sniper all the way at the top of the yeah. power plant. Oh, he's in. A, oh, I no, I think he's in a crane, actually. Yeah, he's in a crane. <laughs> okay, well, this APC uh... driver got tunnel vision and just crashed into a crane. <laughs> you okay? Yep, hiccup. Okay. That! <laughs> like, did, oh, did this game make you throw up in your mouth a little? No. No, I'm not playing Vanguard. Oof. <laughs> ah! Eddie, behind me. No, because I was I was actually watching a couple videos yesterday to Ooh. kind of refresh my memory on on Vanguard and like all the things it did wrong outside of the campaign. Mm. It's like, oh yes, that's right, your team, enemy team. I forgot about that yeah. completely. Oh yeah, because you know, yeah. I mean, I can totally understand maybe not wanting to play as, you know, Nazis. They, they that didn't stop. They didn't stop them in COD World War II. Oh. No. No. Well, the they problem, didn't the have the problem, whole operator yeah. system, but that's it, true. It's. Uh, the, the, uh, the, I'm, I'm in. I'm in two minds of that, but they really shouldn't have had just the same team regardless. Mm-hmm. But I, I also don't know what. They I should think... have done, considering they are gonna have specific characters, and it might be I, I... Uh, having like, oh, the, here's the most elite of German SS troops as yeah. a playable oh, operator. <laughs> like that could be that. a problem. Oh, oh. I think happened? I know the exact type Error. of person who would buy that. Uh oh, oh. Loka's gone now. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Not it. <laughs> ah! I got oh, shot. Well, I, I don't I, think that counts, I though. One, I can take one for the team. Well, we're starting to get beat pretty bad here, so I think it probably won't be too much longer. Hopefully. And ground war just hasn't changed between any of the games. No, it's been pretty cons consistent. It's just different maps. Fire. Yeah. Reloading. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what. That, yeah, the reason why I wasn't playing Ahsoka Lewis or watching Ahsoka what, was uh, you might like this Lewis. I, so a friend got me to pick up the entire Yakuza collection on uh, PC to stream and uh, play uh, to do it with me since he loves those games. And I've been in Yakuza Zero Brain Rot, fantastic game, and I hope everyone here plays it. Please yeah, it's it. always Yakuza Zero that everyone talks about. I've never. Played I Yakuza think Zero. that was free with PS Plus, and I may have it. It you it might be Kiwami One, which that's also a fantastic game. I think there's been two or three Yakuza games that have been offered for free with PS Plus now. It's... it's... the stories are shockingly deep, and then you get into the side content and... And it's just goofy. Laugh. It is stupid. Uh, just to name off a few of my favorites, at least that I can on stream. You help someone who, uh, you help someone who runs a, uh, a slot car racing stadium uh, defend his honor from some kids, calling him a virgin. Fun. And the kids don't exactly know what they uh, what they mean when they say virgin. They just know that their parents uh, called uh, called the uh, called the guy a virgin. <laughs> it's also uh, the you... classic karaoke. Yes, karaoke's all. That's always fun, especially uh, 
Yeah, with uh, Majima's, I, I'll have to send it to you, Lewis. You might like this. One of his, he hey, just yo. pops off so hard. Oh, and I think I know doing, what you mean. It's not it's it's like it's not 24 hour Cinderella. Oh. No, it's ow, not ow, 24 ow, hour Cinderella. Ow, 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 he's ow. not singing. He's supporting a. He's supporting a, someone else. Oh, interesting. And he's totally 20 stupid. seconds left. Uh, you find like an illegal, like a black, like a uh, a black market dealer in the back of an alley, and you hear like you don't know what he's selling. So you, so you're trying to figure out what the password was, and you go through all, you beat up like a bunch of guys, get in, get entangled with like the Chinese uh, tribe. Hey, we lost. And uh, at the end of the day, once you finally find the pa get the password. Uh, <laughs> Here you just goes. I did it. I figured out the password and walks off without buying anything. <laughs> that's all he wanted to know. <laughs> Was just the password. Yes. Okay, that's funny. Uh, you go if you frequent this bowling alley enough, you can uh, uh, you can be you can befriend the uh, the uh, lady who mans the counter. And after being sexually harassed by her a couple of times, <laughs> uh, she offers you. Uh, she says, "If you get a, if you get a, if you get a turkey in bowling, you'll get a free turkey as a promotion." If, if you do that, which it's super. Wait, are you easy. guys in a new game? No, not, not yet. yet. We just, yeah, we okay. just got done. Okay. So uh, we're getting back to the we'll main menu, and I'll, yeah, I'll, we'll get back to the main menu, and I'll bite you, you and Loka again. Gotcha. Loka, then. Oh, is he in? That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. So do, apparently, that, apparently it kicked me out of the game, but not the party. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, yeah. Meanwhile, Lewis is long gone. Yeah, I've changed why. the version again, but then it said, "Uh, you're on the wrong version still." So. All right. Well, I just sent a squad what? invite. So. Okay. Hopefully that'll just like fix it. Yeah. 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 Anyway, you get you get the turkey. If if you win, you don't get a turkey. You get a live chicken. That's like the same. It's all yeah. It's like <laughs> and here's it's both poultry. Out. Yeah, and the lady offers because she was raised on a poultry farm offers to kill the chicken and cook it up for you, in the fryer in the back. Here you can't do that. So he hires this chicken on, calls him Nuggets, and hires him as a consultant for his as or as a manager for his uh, real estate business. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's just logical. Yeah. yeah. And then there are a few where you have to... There's uh, a lot of my favorites. It's like a three-act structure. And the first one, you have to help this this film crew with their uh, terrible, like, uh, terrible workplace environment director. And you have to guess, like, what are... What are these terminologies? Like, what? Uh, there's... Uh, the cameraman asks for a uh, an erasable... And there's a there's a over at the table at, in this restaurant. You can call for either you can either get a plate of food, get an eraser, or get something else. So you can either take the take them literally, take them like in a very thuggish like. I think one of them was like you can get a knife, or you can get a plate of food. So you do that. You get all you get all the stuff. Uh, in the second act, uh, you find out that Miracle Johnson is in town. Michael Jackson, in case you couldn't pick up on that uh, subtle oh. hint. Uh. And you help film his music video, which is Thriller, but it's just you beating up a bunch of zombies in an alley. <laughs> you never get to see the music video. And you hire Steven Spielberg on as a manager for your business. Hmm. These games sound insane. And in the third one, you find out that Miracle Johnson is in the local disco club. So you you beat up his security, go in there, have a dance off with him, lose. He and then he lets you choose a, a present, black or white. By the way, another reference there. And <laughs> and then he joins you, and then he joins you as a consultant for for your business. And the, the series is just great. So I sent I another keep, invite, Lewis. I keep getting the same error. Have you checked for an update? Uh, sure. Because you've been uh, playing have morning, you, haven't you? Ha have you? Have you closed the game and reopened it? Yeah. Okay. Also, like, mm. yeah, I'm in the Modern Warfare 3 menu with, like, the gray background. And it yeah. says, like, I'm still in the wrong version. Hmm. 
Strange. That's very uh-huh. weird. Why is it always your stuff that ends up it, it, doing it, this <laughs> stuff? <laughs> I've been thinking You're about so that. right. <laughs> what did I do? Who did I hurt? <laughs> Who did I hurt? John Activision. <laughs> Yeah, you 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 didn't John buy Mac- enough COD points. Yeah. Mm-hmm. John Activision and Tim Microsoft. Uh, I For can't real. believe we have to deal with Tim Microsoft now. Oh, Todd Lord. PlayStation is just out. He's gone. Well, yeah, Jim Ryan. Yeah, Jim Ryan is uh, retiring. Oh. I don't believe he's retiring. I still believe that he was uh, forced to resign. <laughs> I mean, why? Why would he be forced to resign? Because he bungled that whole their whole arguments. He, I don't, th- I don't think he bungled anything. Is there a way for me to join, like, other than an invite? Yeah, uh, uh, you can try to. It's weird. Uh, I mean, R3. if you go, yeah, if you go to the friends tab in the menu and then hit like join squad or something or join session. Where's the friends list thing? Yeah, R3, like Dexter had said. Oh, R3. And then... And then, like, find one of our names, and then it may give you the option. Nope. Different version. Weird. I don't know. Try... (laughs) Try... Try exiting out and restarting again? All right. No, it might just work, because why wouldn't it, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I don't know, maybe if that doesn't work, then maybe... if Okay, so if that doesn't work, then what we'll do is we'll back out to Modern Warfare 2, yeah. and then... <sighs> oh, no, you don't see. I'm already in the Modern Warfare 3 version. I, then it'll say I'm on the wrong version for that, then. Because, so. <laughs> yeah... I'm trying. Okay. Opening Modern Warfare 3. Open beta. Launching. Checking for update. Loading player stats. Updating playlists. Fetching online profile. Oh, it. Luke is gone. Yeah, wow. uh, notice. Update requires restart. Oh? Hang on, let me leave the party too. See if that... Oh no. Alright, well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back I'll to Call of Duty HQ. Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead and try to join me. Join Putty. Nope, different version. Okay. okay. Well, I'm. let uh, me back out to Call HQ and. Logging in. Checking for update. Updating playlists. There it is. Yep, they're required to restart. So I get the guess that was. So we were playing on a. I hope this doesn't cancel the stream when the game updates. That looks like it will. At least I hope not. Requires restart. Thrilling gameplay for those at home. Thanks. All right, uh, here, yeah, okay. So now we're probably going to be pizza working beta. again. Yeah. Well, it says right here at the bottom, you know, it's like this game is in pre-release stage of development. That means it may not work. It may even crash. So. Womp womp. All right, so I've got Daxter back. Uh, gonna join now. Yeah, try now. Guess who's back? Where is? Uh, back again. There we go. Bunny's back. Invite a friend so they can get in. No. Please. No, okay. Kidding. Am I in? Hey, there, there you are. Oh, Yay, that's what, it, that's what it was. We did it. We did it. We did it, Patrick. Uh, we saved the city. We saved the city. It <laughs> <laughs> was just my corpse getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> we saved him.
so yeah, I think we'll probably play for another couple minutes and then probably call it good because I think we pretty much would have experienced everything that there is yeah. to experience in the beta at this stage. So I certainly but, recommend uh, you guys also run back and try uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2 just to see how different it plays. Yeah, that no, I can definitely tell oh, there are uh, different there are differences. Mm-hmm. And that, that's what I was about to say. Is that what? What do you? So what do you guys think? It's you know, it's like, is this? Does it? Does it feel different enough to warrant that seventy dollar price point? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I, th- I thought, <laughs> you know, for a second there, I thought you're. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it is not different enough to be seventy dollars. What, what are you crazy? Well, and I find it funny because, you know, like last time we, we played this and we streamed the reveal event, you said, it's like, well, why did I pay 70 bucks for Modern Warfare 2 when this was coming out the next year? I said, well, no, that's that, it's like Modern Warfare 2 actually had a bunch of new stuff in it. The better question is why would you want to spend $70 on this? Why, why not make it like a do a 40? A do a 40 release. Like DLC. That's all you have to do. Mm-hmm. This feels like DLC. Well, but the, it's it's so funny because because I mean I'm again I'm I you know, there were reports that this was supposed to just be an expansion at a, release at a premium price, probably going to be you know like fifty, you know forty fifty dollars at one point, and then at somewhere along the way it maybe got turned into it got turned into a full on release. But it, it's it's just going to be it's just going to be so funny looking back because. There's good. There's all these videos and stuff. People go and it's like, oh, thank goodness, COD's taking a break in 2023. Ha 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 ha. No, they're not. And I and I and I feel and pretty. They never good will. Ab- yeah, and they never <laughs> will because I I feel pretty good about myself because I said it's like I'll believe that when I see it. I don't actually think that they're going to take a break. I think that this is like a people are trying to turn this into a self fulfilling prophecy by yeah. saying that. I mean, yeah, like. If anything, Black Ops Cold War was the proof that they will never take a yeah. year off. That was the yep. perfect time to take a year off, and they didn't and do it. If, if, and if you still needed more proof, Vanguard was the <laughs> year yeah. after. Uh-huh. And they didn't take a break then, nope. <laughs> either. <laughs> so they will, yeah, they will never take a break. At this point, I would accept a gotcha spinoff. Just do something different, guys. See, I think what could have could could have maybe worked was if something what, something they wanted to do ah uh, is if all like all like they do instead of you know instead of starting it's like it's season six. Or, no, we have season six right now. It's season seven yeah. of Modern Warfare Two, and all this content gets sprinkled out over a year. It's like all these maps and stuff. But then they release the campaign for forty dollars. I would have been fine with that. I'd be very happy yeah. paying forty bucks for one of those campaigns, yeah. especially depending on because it's like the the jury's still out. It's like who's really in charge of of making the campaign this year? Is it Sledgehammer or Infinity Ward? It's like Sledgehammer is obviously handling the multiplayer, but who's doing the campaign? That's what I'm really interested. in interested on it's like oh and like is it in like it does it infinity ward make the campaign they're tacking it on to sledgehammer's game is it sledgehammer making the campaign at with you know infinity ward's guidance or is it all the designers at infinity ward just telling sledgehammer what to do so which in, in which case kind of so basically makes it infinity ward's game so the, that that is all still very nebulous to me and that's really what i want to know because that's because that's what i care about because because if because let's say if the, this beta because i'm i'm having fun but it's like let's say this beta was garbage and and you know it was really bad and everyone was going to be going and everyone was going to be going ooh sledgehammer fell flat on their face again another another bad you know call of duty multiplayer from sledgehammer i would not be really that upset and i was just like well as long as the campaign's good because yeah. modern warfare 2 is still out I like how you say another bad uh, multiplayer from Sledgehammer. What you should be saying is another Sledgehammer multiplayer. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, I mean, oh. I mean, Modern Warfare, three, the original Modern, boo, the, the original no, Modern Warfare Three no. was Sledgehammer, but that wasn't even different. It's just Modern Warfare Two, too. And yeah, that's it's like it's it's a it's a more balanced version of Modern, of the original Modern Warfare Two. So, 
Uh, yeah, does it does it really count with new maps? Yeah, oh, no, hey, totally... funny how history is repeating itself. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's under slightly better circumstances this time around. Yeah. Instead of it be, be, being because one of the developers is essentially up in flames, it's just because they want to wring every penny they can out of this. And give Treyarch more time, I guess. Yeah. What, making... Yeah, we're making what? What are you doing? The next Black Ops, I guess. That's going to be a disaster. I'm calling it now. If it is after f like four years of development, I, I don't even know what I'm going to what to say. Because <laughs> they, I mean, yeah, they, they've got them an extra year. They've had the it's it, the next Call of Duty for 2024 will have had the longest dev cycle out of any Call of Duty ever. Yeah, and I somehow think that Treyarch's gonna bungle it. This is either going to be the best Call of Duty game ever or the worst one. And I'm kind of leaning towards the latter. I, I am curious, actually, about it based on two reasons. One, it is going to be using this uh, engine. The new yeah, engine, engine, thank goodness. So I, I am curious to see if it's going to... Like, how, how is that going to affect the sledgehammer style of gameplay? Will it force them to make something good? Or the, or the Treyarch style. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that that's what that that's just more out of morbid curiosity. Uh, the second thing is that, uh, based on leaks, uh, or uh, po yeah, leaks. leaks, possible leaks, rumors, it might be set in the nineties. Oh, the Gulf War. I'm all for. Yeah. Black Ops Gold War. I can see that, that already. No, that's yeah, that's one hundred percent what it's going to yeah. be called. It's going to be Black Ops yeah. Gold War, at the sequel yeah. to Black Ops Cold War. That's one hundred percent what it's going to be. Yeah. I can't it's wait for Black this to Ops do one on the Square Massacre and how that really affected our relations with China. Oh wait, they're never going to do that. Whoops. Because they did have the Tiananmen Square yeah. uh, <laughs> footage in the Cold wait, War trailer, what? and then China told them to remove it. <laughs> yep. What? Yep. Yeah, no, the the original the reveal teaser for Black Ops Cold War had all this stuff from the 80s in it, all this, you know, historic real historical footage and stuff, and some of it was from Tiananmen Square, and China got mad. It's like, "Hey, that's something that didn't happen even though the footage is right there in your video game trailer, yeah, so you need you to remove up? it." Oh, so you, and, and they did. It was just a fictional event. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, in case in case we all forgot, Activision is very much Chinese. <laughs> very much owes something to China, and I don't like that. That ain't cool, Chief. Just, so just Sonic the Hedgehog, and that's no good. No good. Yep. <laughs> that's a tank. Yes, it is. That's an SAE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forget about the tank. We got bigger problems, like literal fire raining from the sky. Oh, there it is. Gotta say, do you like the new uh, font choice? That's about it. Oh, I don't know. It depends on which font Ops you're talking font. about. Yeah. Wait. Okay, so if you look at the top of your compass, I think that's just the Black Ops font, which I forgot what the name of that font was called. I mean, that's... Oh, no, yeah, it is It is a different, slightly different font. You're right. It's a sans serif. Missed me! Securing objective challenge. We've lost Changing back. Ah. 
Oh, he's running at 30. <laughs> Is that the parody of running in the 90s? No, but he was like super like stuttery. Whoa, there's a there's a oh, ragdoll. You know, you know they're going to no. put that as a war track. It's going to be you no, know, it's going to be a war track or it's going to be in the game whenever you're whenever you do the obligatory obligatory uh, vehicle section in Treyarch campaign. I just realized Treyarch is the only they're the are, Mm, no, Infinity Ward has some vehicle segments. I don't know, like consistently in their games. I mean, so well, there, there's the tank thing. There's there's vehicle there's vehicle sections in both Advanced Warfare and World at War. I don't know about Vanguard yet. World at War was Sledgehammer though. Black nice. I, I meant World War Two. I meant World War Two. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Black Ops One. See, it would help if they uh, actually named these things differently, so I could keep yeah, track. Yeah, no. Let's see. I know Black Ops One had the car, the car chase in the first uh, section. Car, car, ch car chase in quotation marks. It was just you holding right trigger. Uh, and the boat. And I think a helicopter? They're definitely a helicopter. There's definitely a helicopter. Definitely segment. a helicopter because you listen to uh, uh, Rolling Stones. Oh no, that poor guy. I distracted a friendly <laughs> because I was perishing down. He got shot in the back. Ah! When they say eyes up. They don't really mean up. Up. Let me. Okay, finally. Oh, this goes all the way upstairs. Nice. Okay, I'm glad they I, I'm glad they nerfed the battle rage thing. Did you guys see how the broken that was like yesterday? And that uh, and that so the, so the battle so this battle rage which is a perk which it, 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 no it's not a perk it's a it's, it's a set it's a it's a it's a tactical. Yeah, this battle this battle rage tactical that you could that you can use now. It was it, when it when the when at Call of Duty next and then at. And then when the when the beta launched um, yesterday, it was busted because you know it gi gives you a little like it gives you a little bit of a health buff, and then it re and it makes the regening on your health a little faster. Well, the 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 health regen was boosted so much that someone was getting shot, and they were in the, in, it was in the middle of a firefight getting shot, and they were. Healing their damage faster than they could take damage. What? Ooh. Yeah. That's a little broken, oh my. Uh huh. <laughs> Hence why they patched it. Ah, uh, just a little. Man, you. You know something's busted when they have to fix it in the beta. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, considering that these guns sound like pea shooters. Uh, yeah, these guns don't sound great. Ooh, sweet, SAE. Ah! Oh, missing something. Doesn't have that punch that Honor Warfare 2 had. No, I think this is like I think that, I mean it sounds very very similar to Modern Warfare 2019 to me. So I don't yeah, so I don't think I mean I've been using the same assault rifle and I haven't really been noticing anything that different. So Target marked. 
Yeah, war crimes. Which one did you get? Oh, SAE. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's basically the white phosphorus under phosphorus. a different name. Yeah. It essentially acts the same. You know, it works about the same way. Ah. Oh, we just lost. Okay. Oh. So what do we think? Like one more thing, a team death match or something, and call it good? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. At, at least of not ground war. You gotta make dinner. Oh yeah, you're right. You're you're Eastern. Oh, am I the only one? Oh, right, yeah, you guys are. Yeah, we're, the rest of us are... are Loka's very uh, Eastern. Central. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's extra Eastern. Yeah. <laughs> extra Eastern. What's your time zone called, Loka? Uh... Would, would, yeah, I was Cent about to say, would you be a... Central European time. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so you're central as well, nice. <laughs> no. Just a different central. <laughs> uh, the actual time is uh, 10.41 p.m. Okay. Oh, gotcha. For clarification. <laughs> so you're fair. the only one who can actually attest to the uh, game night part. Uh... Like night ish for me. It's dark enough. Yeah, yeah it's only in the winter. It's only three forty two for us. But is it dark enough for Bravo Six? Nah, it's always dark yet. enough to go dark. <laughs> uh, okay, that made that I okay, that was starting to be good <laughs> and then I ruined it. Well. It's always dark enough to go dark. <laughs> enough dark. <laughs> That's like that's like a that's like a bad ta that's like a tagline they put on a obviously fake movie and something. It's always dark enough to go dark. The Dark Knight Returns, <laughs> starring Christian Bale at age seventy-eight as Batman. <laughs> now let's see Paul yeah. Allen's movie. Hey, good map. Well, it's a Modern Warfare 2 map, so of course it's good. <laughs> yeah, see, okay, bottom left it said U.S. Army Rangers, in parentheses, yep. spec crew. Yeah, like, yeah, why? <laughs> I noticed that earlier, I just, I didn't call it out. Yeah, that's, dot why? Yeah. No, that's, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I mean, Is considering there's only, like, I mean, considering there's only like three or four operators you can choose from the beta, it would not surprise me if that's just, uh, you know, it's like we can be anyone right now because that's all, all that's available. And then once the full game comes out, then they'll. Which that also brings into consideration more lore specific things like why is Hutch on the uh, not Spectre side? You can be mercenary. Yeah, but that's a war cry. Yeah, well, actually, wait, I just remember what series we're playing. No, Ramirez, don't kill me. I got killed by a private James Ramirez. <laughs> On honestly, that, that, uh, what, what you said, Dexter, that is an issue I do have with the factions of Modern Warfare yeah. 2. I'm glad there are factions as opposed to Vanguard, but the factions doesn't make necessarily sense. Yeah. make sense. At least based on the bios for some of the operators yeah. like Hotch you mentioned. And I, I also don't... I, like... Ah, Sa yeah. Same with the Norwegian guy I played a lot. I, I, I don't understand, based on his bio, why he's with the bad guy faction. Quote, yeah, quote-unquote. Quote, 
And then it gets even more confusing because uh, apparently both Specru and Cortac are supposed to be PMCs. Wait, what? Yeah. That's yeah. That's just a you know a multiplayer thing that I think just is just better not really discussed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do you give it lore then? Especially if the alternative would be no factions a la Vanguard, mm -hmm. and I'm definitely picking this as weird as it is. I mean, the way they the way they explained it all in Modern Warfare 2019, I think made perfect sense. It's yeah. like, you know, it, I mean, it, there, I mean, Verdansk is, you know, being carved in half. There's all this fighting going on. There is this, you know, there's the coalition of the of all these Western forces that are trying to do stuff and secure objectives. There's then there's the uh, and then there's the Allegiance, which is all the more you know, Eastern forces banging together. Now, granted, they did put Nikolai and Farah into that camp, which I yeah, didn't agree with. But, make, uh, but that was... Yeah, that but that, that, that was also but... because their sub-faction was a PMC. Right, yeah. So I get... Even though they would would have aligned with the other side war. But, it's that, but that was also, like, so late in the game because yeah. it was, like, season five or whatever of Modern Warfare, yeah. so... And what about uh, what about the rest of the Diamond Dogs? Wait, uh, I mean, Demon Dogs. Demon Dogs. dogs. Thank you. Sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong PMC. Well, no, no, those are the Marines. I know that's stupid. So, are, they, are you saying they're a PMC? No, they're, they're they're not. Is Task Force One Four One a PMC? No, no. It, it, it was just certain specific sub-factions in Modern Warfare 19, and oh boy, that, <laughs> that guy got... Uh, I feel bad for him. And what about Mackerel? Oh, he's definitely a bad guy. Yeah, so uh, yeah. that's why. The, 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 the only thing that makes it both? obvious which... Uh, which ones are supposed to be the good guys or bad guys in Modern Warfare 2 is that uh, the default milsim for the spec group yeah. is, are, are the rangers and they have all the good guys you know like all, all the task force one for one members and then the Kortak faction has uh, all the shadow company Actually, no, yeah. there is one Shad Shadow Company skin for Spectru. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, because he's a skin for one of the, for one of the courts, from, yeah, for, yeah, for one of the Rangers. I can't remember, but it's like, yeah, because okay. I got him in the battle pass. So nothing is making sense after all, even yeah. when I fought to <laughs> It made it made it made so much sense it looped back around to not making sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's all like poetry. I don't get it. <laughs> I was I was really expecting it. it's like poetry at rhymes line, but instead it's like it's oh, like no. poetry. I don't get it. I'm just speaking from the heart here. Fair. I smooth brain Stupid back her off. I've trusted you, Yuri. Speaking of which, uh, where's Roach? Other than staying ex extra crisp nowadays. I mean, it seems like it, it. I mean, considering Roach was really a non-character, it seems like that you know the the silent the. Silent protagonist. Yeah, the silent protagonist they just left out. I still think it would have made perfect sense for them to make Alex Roach. But. Yeah. We never really saw him anyway, so. Right, yeah, so they could it could have yeah. worked, but. Yeah, what happened oh. to our oh. Oh. 
Ow. I hear it. It's a rombie. Ah, uh, no! I killed a Makarov only to be killed by a Makarov! <laughs> Can I kill a Makarov? You, you killed you kill this twin brother. Bakarov. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah. Evil Makarov. <laughs> but wait, Makarov's already evil, so. Makarov. The M and Makarov stands for mischievous. Makarovi. Makarovi. <laughs> Okay, so so saying Makarov over and over and over and over that reminded me. So, Loka, you know where the name for Molotov cocktails came or, came from, right? Yep. Uh huh. Well, do. So, well, do a quick explainer of, of where. Education. Education. Yeah. yeah. I remember the story, but I don't remember. The, I think I might get a detail wrong. So please, Loka, I'm. I, tell me. Uh, tell, tell me like funny it thing is. is that I don't remember the story, <laughs> uh -huh. but they are named after. Uh, a uh, what was it? Right? For, for, foreign minister. I think it's the foreign minister. The Soviet yeah. Union. Mm -hmm. uh, he and he he. It was the same Molotov that uh, helped with the Ribbentrop Molotov Pact between the Nazis and the Soviets mm -hmm. right before World War Two. That was a non-aggression pact, and also obviously it didn't work. An agreement. Uh, yeah, that that part. Didn't work alongside I mean, the uh, the second uh, part of it, which was to h how to divide Eastern Europe between uh, the Nazis and the Soviets once the uh, World War Two were, were, uh, began. So so yeah, so that's the backstory on 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 Mr. Molotov. So the, and then the the name for for it came about because it was I'm pretty sure it was what was it was it the Winter War and where was that was that Norway? Yeah. Oh, Finland. Finland, thank you. It was yeah. So it was in Finland. It was when the so when if, the if, Soviets if we're, were speaking fighting about. The, yeah, it, yeah, with the Soviets. Well, yeah, yeah, the Soviets were fighting the Finnish. And so. And and so they named and so because of all that stuff going on, they they you know they call these improvised grenades <laughs> Molotov cocktails to kind of you know poke fun at this guy. So that's messed up. But he, but here's but here's the I thing. Mean, but the so they so that's where the name comes from. So it's like mid World War II, and that's something that would not spread until later after the war is over. So why is it during the COD World War II campaign? And Amer you know, one of your American guys is saying, "Hey, Daniels, pick out those Molotov cocktails." And like this, in like the fall of 1944 in France, <laughs> it's like uh, you clearly don't know where the name Molotov cocktail comes from, Sledgehammer, because otherwise you'd know it would not make sense for him to call those that. Well, you're 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 saying that to the same franchise that have East German. Uh, Stasi agents running around in 1981 uh, one with uh, Swedish AK-5s that didn't enter production into 1986. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, and then yeah, Van and Vanguard, and I know for sure. Also, would not have been used by Ger uh, by uh, East Germans. <laughs> And then I and then I know for a fact that in Vanguard there's a mission that takes place during the Battle of Stalingrad, which is like what 1941, mm -hmm. and you can find and you can find and use STG 44s, which yep. you know were not yep. produced until 1944, hence the name STG 44. So that'd it's like, like yeah, that'd be like playing uh, Battlefield One, and for some reason you pick up an AK 47. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it wouldn't make any sense. Stupid. So, oh boy, don't we don't we just love historical inaccuracies? So, so anyway, so that is the uh, so yeah, that's the beta for Modern Warfare Three. Uh, I'm yeah, I, nice I, job I, ending on a win, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> no, that yeah, yeah. And that was a really good win too. We kind of stomped yeah. them there mm -hmm. at the end. So, so yeah, that was a so I I don't know about you guys, but I was having fun with that. What do you think? I had fun too. I I will admit I was skeptic uh, 
well, quite skeptical going into this, uh, ba just based on some footage I saw earlier that looked like really, really fast, and I was seeing mm -hmm. so much positivity from people that didn't like Modern Warfare 2, so I was worried. <laughs> I, I, I was definitely hesitant that, oh, is this gonna be, like, the complete opposite reaction for me, but playing this... No, I, I, I did actually enjoy it. It, it, it. it is... It does feel a little different, and maybe not necessarily for the better, but uh, compared with Modern Warfare 2, but I don't know if 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 this it does feel like a happy or a happier medium that with mm -hmm. the with the slower tactical approach of uh, the Modern Warfare reboot and the more faster paced um, you know style of uh, it's weird to call them classic CODs, but I I, I think at this point yeah that that's what I are referred to. So, mm -hmm. in some sense, it, I think it's actually, and I, I, I even think it's doing a much better job at that than uh, the Vanguard did. Even though I, that was also why I did kind of enjoy it, uh, or even the whole sledgehammer uh, design philosophy of being literally in the middle of whatever Infinity Ward and Treyarch was doing. Mm -hmm. um, but it, like in, in, in this in this case it actually doesn't feel, oh it's just middle of the road mediocre. It, it does feel like it's it's doing some things that are more for the faster pace but also still trying to do some tactical stuff. I don't know, it, it feels like a happy medium. Uh, I think I still prefer Modern Warfare 2 over this, but I, I definitely had a, a ton of fun with this. Daxter, what about, again, you? what about you? Oh, sorry. Go ahead and finish. No, I, I was just just gonna say. Then again, I think I think I did. I do think I still prefer Modern Warfare 19 over Modern Warfare. Oh 2, yeah, same here. Same it, here. Uh, it's kind of splitting hairs at that point. Yeah. It's like trying. It, it, it it's like uh, when I, for the longest time, was trying to decide whether I liked Oblivion or Skyrim more. Mm. It was impossible <laughs> to come to a conclusion. <laughs> All right, so now Daxter. Daxter, you there? I'm here. Uh, Lewis, you go next, please. Oh, okay. Uh, sure thing. Um, well. You, you guys saw how what I had to deal with, but, you know, it's probably my fault for some reason, not the games, because why not? Um, but yeah. Playing COD Modern Warfare 2, so, yeah. <laughs> and, like, yeah, I'm not a COD veteran, so I don't know, like, the subtle nuances and, like, the details and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it just felt like I was playing, like, an update to the old game that I... Paid seventy dollars for, Le just so, a little, yeah. little less than a year ago. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I will say it does feel more like Modern Warfare Two than I thought it was gonna do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, because I mean, even like the UI is refined ever so slightly. Like the, I think, like the top of the play and weapons operators, but that may just be because this is a beta and so there's limited content in it. Whenever the main mm. game comes out, they may explode it out again. It's going to feel and look exactly like Modern Warfare Two, which you know, has a messy, messy UI. Um, <laughs> oh, sure. one thing that we haven't discussed at all: map voting's back. Hey. Oh. Cool. So it's like why why they removed map voting? I'm not exactly sure why, but they did that a while ago, and then like they brought it back for Vanguard, and then it disappeared again. I know Cold War had it. Did Cold War have it? Okay. Cold War had it. I don't think Vanguard had it. I knew it was. Did. I knew it was one of the remember. more recent ones, and then but it was like the outlier where the rest of them don't really yeah. have. I know for sure Cold War had it. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Because when we did that game night a couple months ago, it it had it, and I was surprised. It's like, oh wow, map voting. 
I did have a question. Um, okay. So like now that the new game is out, uh, are they just gonna like shut down uh, support for Modern Warfare Two? Just like leave it nope. in dust? No. No, it's uh, it's still gonna be there. Okay. I think well, you're thinking I mean, of you were thinking of Warzone One. Sorry, I'm back. Warzone One, uh, just because they want everyone to buy their crap, will they'll just have all the support go to Warzone Two instead? Well, Warzone Two is Warzone One's dead and has been for about three weeks now. Yeah. F in chat well, I mean, for, for Caldera. Like, yeah, I mean like the whole game for like Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, no, so I... they, they never do that. They just stop updating it, which is why you can still play like. Call of Duty 3 online multiplayer if you really wanted to, which I don't know why you would. <laughs> Gosh, or you can still play finding players. Yeah, yeah, you can still you can still play uh, any of those uh, multiplayer modes. Mainly so because, so yeah, so yeah when so when Modern Warfare 3 launches on no, on November 10th. And, you know, it's like, of course, you know, it's launch weekend, we'll jump in, we'll play it and stuff. But if, say, on, like, I don't know, December the 6th, we decide, oh, you know what, I do want to go and do the, and, you know, play this one map back in, you know, it's like, you know, do, and try to do this one thing in Modern Warfare 2, it's just going to be an easy little, you know, we just jump, we just select that on the COD home screen page, and then, and we'll be able to jump right in, no issues. So it'll still be there. Interesting. Okay. It's, gotcha. it, yeah. it, it'll be a little more intuitive than in the past because, like, because like Daxter said, they they never have they never really ever shut down the servers on a COD game before, except for Warzone Caldera. Now, ironically, but um, but that you know, back in the day, if you were playing Modern Warfare three and wanted to play Black Ops one, then you would have to take your Modern Warfare three disc out and put in your Black Ops one or, disc. Yeah, or just swip, or just watch, uh, just you know, go to the your install, whatever you're playing. R- yeah, on. yeah. Back in the day, though, not you know, people didn't really yeah, download yeah, games who, all that often. Who, yeah, who downloaded a game except for PC players? I think you know, one of the one of the first games I actually downloaded to my PS three was. Uh, was a Ratchet and Clank Future Quest for Booty because that was because you could only get it on the PlayStation yeah. Network unless you lived in Europe, in which case they did release a disc. You got a fi- but, yeah, yeah, Loki, you got a physical. Where's my physical? I was gonna say my first download, or at least one of the first ones I specifically remember, outside of some WiiWare titles, was uh, Battlefield 1943. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I hmm. played that one. It's a, it's a, it's, it was ten bucks, three maps, but with Battlefield's more open like gameplay, it was yeah, time and time again. It goes yeah, it goes a little further. So, so speaking of threes, what do you think of Modern Warfare Three? Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I had to take a leak. <laughs> anyway, um, I didn't hate it. It was quite fun. I enjoyed the new maps or the old maps. The the the, the, the new old yeah. maps. Yeah. <laughs> I. God, everything felt all right. I, I just, I don't enjoy it when games don't have their own identity. Like I could play any of the, uh, a, a terrible example of this. I can play any of the Madden games, and probably not be missing out on anything. I could go all the way back to the PS2 era, or even as far back as, like '92 and play it on the Genesis because it's kind of the same thing at the end of the day. Uh, This is certainly feeling a bit like it, kind of like how Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3 classic. Oh, that's such a stupid thing to say. (laughs) There's not that much in terms of its own identity. Modern Warfare 3 is just Modern Warfare 2, 2. See that I I Same don't I here. don't I don't really agree with that when it comes to the originals, because there's it's the, I I think Modern Warfare the original Modern Warfare, th- Modern Warfare three has a very different feel compared to Modern Warfare two. Was there a lot similar? Yeah, but I think there was enough at least for me there was enough different there, in terms of the way the multiplayer worked, the way you know the of course the new campaign you know the expansion on spec ops adding the survival uh, survival mode into into it and everything 
and then it's like the you know it, it it was it felt like a it w- it was familiar but it felt like a natural evolution that at least for me it certainly felt like it warranted a full sequel and had its own identity compared to compared to original Modern Warfare 2. And uh, I think maybe I need to be more specific. I'm talking like UI elements are the freaking same. There's I, a lot of the same animations. I think I think if there you're is, judging things are... by UI elements and animations, you are nitpicking to a to a le- to a such a even low level. Even the maps aren't even the maps. The maps aren't original. It's yes, they the are from Modern Warfare Two and Modern Warfare Two as well. There is okay, no hold on. Are you original... talking about? Are you talking about? Are you talking about this one or the old one? I oh. hate that we have to make that. <laughs> <laughs> I said Modern Warfare 2, and I will say that twice. So, it is borrowing <laughs> Modern Warfare 2's weapons, sounds, animations, and it is borrowing from Modern Warfare 2's maps. This Again, game, which... Just... I... Okay, this one, I'm this so this confused. this one, I will agree with because if we're talking about the original Modern Warfare Three, yeah, there's some similar animations in UI, but uh, but all of the maps are new with the exception of Terminal. Yeah, no, sorry, but this this okay, one, this one okay. Is what see, I, sorry, I th- yeah, yeah, I thought you were talking about the old one. Like, I what the, the heck are you now. talking about? I see the hangup now. Okay. Yeah. So okay. This see that? Yeah. Just <laughs> borrows mm-hmm. like almost like copy paste Modern Warfare Two Twenty Two into here with all the skins and weapons and whatnot and it borrows from modern warfare 2 2009's maps Maps, yeah okay that that is a that is a fair criticism because i share that critique but i i I thought you're talking about the original for a second i'm like well hold on i love these games i love these maps i love these guns but to just make me pay 70 dollars for this you should have just put it in Modern Warfare 2 and charged 40 to 50 for your campaign. Should have, could have, make me, would have, yeah, don't, exactly. Don't make me buy another game. You're putting it in the same menu as all of the others going from this point to whatever. Why should I have to pay for this? Is it because you want to charge seventy dollars? Yes. You're still gonna be making. Well, yeah, obviously. This is we're <laughs> Hello, about. I like <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Still, you're still making money off of the Black Cell Battle Pass bundle, which is thirty dollars each season. And I hate all those skins. Pre- you cannot yeah. pre-buy it. You cannot pre-buy it for a year. At a discounted price. It's you know, worse it's... than Destiny 2's seasonal content. It's so funny. Back in the day, you know, it's like I remember people complaining about, you know, like the the season passes and stuff where you'd get all the all the map Maps. packs and everything, yeah. you know, the new, the DLC map packs and you know, it's like the the argument against moving the argument for moving away from all that stuff is that, you know, map packs and stuff like that segmented the player base. So like by the time the final map pack came out, there were fewer and fewer people yeah, buying you them so you had such as all those new maps right so yeah so why so why bother but compared to what we have now i think that's a preferred system over the way it's monetized now yeah at least what you're being robbed over it's something you actually would consider not some stupid skin and gun that you can make yourself by the way you just don't have the cool effect I don't know if you realize that, but that's what all of those new uh, weapon skins are. You can make them all. It was something I realized early on was like, oh, I don't have to buy any of these weapons. It's not like it's only cosmetics. Now, maybe I learned it more with two than I did with uh, 2019. No, I, yeah. I will still be buying Skeletor. Don't at me. <laughs> But that's this game is going to be forgotten. Five years down the line, I I think a majority of the player base that buys an Xbox or a PlayStation just because they want to play Call of Duty, Madden, what whatever their yearly, yearly franchise that they like is, they're gonna forget this one even exists, and that's a shame. 
Because for as much slack as I give Sledgehammer, people worked on this. They deserve to try and do better. So that's it. That's well, the I feel. <laughs> Well, I think th so. I mean, and this is something that I th that sh we need we need to wrap up, and I think can be discussed at a, as a later date. But you say they deserve the chance to try and do better. It's like I think they've had three chances to try to do better, yeah. and they've kind of fumbled the ball in just, in like the same way in new ways every single time. So well, it's so like has Treyarch each and every time in recent history. They were, I wouldn't call them the golden child. But for a while there, it was probably like the only thing that was consistent. And it's the one thing I think the only reason why Treyarch is even there is because people see Black Ops, they buy. Not yeah, for, 20, 2010 not for, not, to, to 2015, I think Treyarch was on top. That was yeah. when they that's when they that's were at their because, best. What, yeah. And that's only because their competition was just doing so poorly. Yeah. Because Infinity War face planted really hard with ghosts. And it, it would be like to a lesser going extent, into the Infinite Olympics Warfare. and those and you're at your your current physical condition and those around you are all like Alzheimer's patients. <laughs> you're, that's you're that's one way to win. Yeah, that's one way to talk about it. It's like, see, and and this and this is something that you know after the full game is out and we played the campaign and checked out zombies and all that. This is probably something I, because I'm definitely unlike because I said I was going to do a full review for Battle Warfare Two and that it, it was just such a constant evolving thing that I couldn't really get a grasp on it to make a, a full review. So I just focused on the campaign. This one I think is there's going to be enough solidified with the with you know it's like well it's not like i need to learn all these maps i know all these maps and it's like zombies it's like yeah. okay it's it's dmz but they threw zombies in there so it's like there's going to be enough there at launch that i think i'll be able to make a full review of this game like you know two three weeks after the game comes out and so they'll probably discuss it a lot there but this but at least so far with like the this does feel like an expansion pack to Modern warfare 2 and it feels like that this is maybe sledgehammer's official demotion where it's like yep. yeah they're listed as the lead developer but they're working on someone else's game it modern yep. warfare yeah, has yeah. always been infinity wards game and now and so now they've kind of been designated as and if rumors are to if rumors are to be believed they're going to do the same thing with treyarch in what's here next year's 2020 so they'll do the same thing in 2025 where where treyarch is up next year and then Sledgehammer will do, uh, let's so let, let's call it Black Ops Gulf War, and then they'll do a Black Ops Gulf War Two. And it, Black Hawk Boogaloo. Yeah. Black Hawk Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> and and then it'll two and it's going to ops. Yeah, and it's and it's gonna and it's gonna be and it's gonna be a bunch of like original Black Ops One and Two maps remastered. Yeah. With you know a couple of new guns. So it's like if that's the case, lazy. if that's if that's what lazy, lazy, well, lazy. I, These guys are a support studio. That's all they're good at. Quit making yeah. them lead developers. Bring in your others. I'm sure Raven and High Moon have some great ideas. I don't. I don't think what? High Moon. The, the the talent at High Moon left a long time ago. I think they're. I think okay. they're just a support studio. Raven, on the other hand, Raven, I could definitely see stepping up, especially with how they handled the Cold War campaign. Because for all intents, because I haven't played it, but from everything I've seen, it's a really good campaign. So it's like Raven, to, I yeah. think, could definitely step up. And they and Raven has a long pedigree of making a lot of good shooters <clears> too. <throat> so yeah, give them give them a chance to shine. Let them make their. I, I, my, it sounded my like Luca had a comment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing with Raven is that uh, they're the essentially the leads lead devs for Warzone. Oh. I don't think they're ever gonna be let go of that. And that and okay. that's a yeah. and that's especially a fair because point. that means someone else is gonna have to pick up the work. And do we really want Sledgehammer being no. in charge of Warzone? No, because look what they did when they were in charge of Caldera, or you know when they introduced Caldera and all that. Uh, my my retort to that is I don't care about Warzone. I but I'm good with you know, the base experience. Uh, the Battle Royale genre can go die in a hole for as far as I'm concerned. I it re it really dawned on me the other day how long Battle Royale has been around now. And I'm like, has yeah. it really been that long? Because it's like... I... It's been 
nearly ten years, I think. If we're gonna if we're gonna count uh, Daisy as the first one. Well, see, I I'm counting from when it hit, from when it really took off, not when the first one came around. So I'm I'm Actually, thinking Battle Royale has been around since at least two thousand. Yeah, so I I'm really thinking since like I'm thinking like twenty sixteen, whenever for whenever. It was like Fortnite. late late 2016, it, 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 yeah. early early 2017, when Fortnite really really took off, and and PUBG, you know, PUBG kind of started to get popular in in mid to late 2016, and then Fortnite went free to play, and 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 had their battle royale. So it's like that's kind of when I count it. So I still kind of think it's battle royale is this new thing, but it's like, well, no, it's been like five plus years. So yeah, how does how does that make you feel? Well, there hasn't really been anything that's replaced it yet. Because I mean, because I, mean, I think the fact that Modern Warfare Zombies is just going to be extraction, or is just going I to think, be DMZ, yeah, it's, it's but with zombies, ex- yeah. it's, it's it's definitely it's, it's, uh, it's, DMZ did not do well. I think. Yeah. It, this is the clear yeah. message. Because if it did well, then they would m- make more <laughs> stuff from from Modern Warfare Three for it, but that's not happening. So yeah, I, I, I was actually gonna say, especially considering uh, the statements they have done with DMC, is that it will still be supported for uh, for Ashika Island and Vondel. I don't think it's gonna be there for Almasra, probably well, because Al- Almasra will be uh, replaced by Ursikstan. Yes, I think yeah. The mm-hmm. plan is. Like, oh, that's a shame. I really liked. Uh, I really liked Almazra, but from what I've seen, I I liked Almazra too. But from what I'm seeing from Urzikstan, it's like it's going to be a little bit closer to. Um, it's going to take like the best bits from Verdansk and Almazra and kind of combine them into one. Okay. And it's like okay, I could see this being good. So interesting. So we'll we'll have to see. Yeah, I definitely hope that. So, anyway, so not, yeah, that's we're gonna get rebirth and Fortune's Keep again. That's true, yeah. Which I'm not, ups, I'm not upset about that, especially Fortune's Keep. That map did not get the love it deserved because it yeah, was around at the it, tail it, end of Caldera, and then got removed. <laughs> and then it got removed <laughs> almost immediately after. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's kind of our overarching thoughts on the Modern Warfare Three beta. Are kind of how we're thinking about the game going into it like last year my my big i can't wait to play this part of this game is the campaign um but you know it's like it seems like i'm still gonna have some fun with the uh with the multiplayer and then you know there's uh, other stuff up in the air that we will of course be back to discuss in a thought-provoking manner uh in in the future so so i'm princess 1215 once again i've been joined by loca cola bravo six going dark daxter corp hd Bravo 6, going dark in a slightly less cool manner. <laughs> and, of course, last but not least, Lewis. Bravo 6, going dark in the coolest manner. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I, there's... I didn't... That was so awesome. <laughs> I didn't realize Batman has joined Task Force 141. <laughs> I was about to say, Lego Batman plays Call of Duty. There's a new video series. <laughs> new AI series. You want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. <laughs> you know, I just had a cursed thought. Oh no. Uh huh. What if cursed they thought? Add Batman as an operator? They oh. would. What if they add Batman as an operator? <laughs> they would, Actually, even though that goes against everything yeah. his character stands for. But uh, I could see it happening. <laughs> that would be really yeah. funny. Like, how, like I think the whole meme of the Batmobile not killing anyone. Like, I think. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. I mean, well, I, I think Batman you know, may be in Fortnite, in which case he's already murdering people there, so why yeah, not? Yeah, God? true. He's just knocking that's them. Very he's just true. knocking them. That's different. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like hey, it's Superman, I've knocked them. Off. them. Do you finish them We're off? We're knocking them. <laughs> yeah, didn't you read the collab comic? They're, they're like, they're not actually dying. Oh, no, like that's, true. that's true. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> that's how he justifies it's like, it. No, it's, it's like the end of Batman Begins. He knocks someone. It's it's like, <laughs> yeah, <just> <laughs> yeah, I don't have to, I'm not going to kill you, but I don't have to save you. Yeah. And then, and then like, Ma- and like Megatron comes in and suplexes them into the ground. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
while while Goku does <laughs> while Goku does the you know the default dance in the background, it's like oh Fortnite. <laughs> Do uh, and and uh, and on that and, uh, and on those cursed thoughts, uh, that's the end of the stream. Ooh. So uh, put it down. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Peace. Bye. Bye.